Good morning, everybody. Can you hear me? All good? How are we doing? Hello and welcome. Um, it is uh, it is stupid o'clock for me. Uh, yes, it is. It is stupid o'clock for me. It is 6.45 in the morning. Six forty five in the morning. Well, actually, almost seven now because I started the stream at six forty five. Made a coffee, had a shower, woke myself up, get all nice and fresh um, for a bit of Metal Gear. For a bit of Metal Gear. Good morning, everybody. So good to see all of your names popping up. So good to see all of your names popping up. Time to check out Snake's Roots, his first mission as a foxhound operative. That's right, Richard. That's right. Metal Gear. I had everything prepped before I went to bed because I went to sleep at like 2 a.m. Because uh, I just finished recording uh, Resident Evil 2 Remake. And then I was like, all right, time to go to sleep <laughs> so I can stream in the morning. Um, or like, you know, five hours from... When I went to sleep, uh, let me know how the how the stream's going. I hope the internet over here is good and allows us to have a smooth stream. Uh, the last stream we had last week was actually was actually great. Uh, everything went very well, uh, so hopefully um, we can have the same today. I'm seeing a little bit of fluctuation uh, in terms of uh, the internet strength. A couple of dropped frames, but hopefully. Uh, hopefully it should be it should be pretty sweet. Um, I think I have to. I do. <laughs> I have to restart the game. Um, give me a second. Because I am not getting any audio on my game. There we go. Cool. Let's boot it up. Let's boot it up. Um, there we go. All right. 
I made your phone shake without touching it? Yes. And now, put your phone on the ground, and I will send a Gone Live notification to your phone. That's right, Snake. I'm live. Alright, guys. Metal Gear Solid 2. Snake Tales. <laughs> MGS3 subsistence. Hopefully you guys don't mind the the chat. I've tried to put it in the corner and at least make it a readable size for when this gets posted up to YouTube for those of you who are not able to make the, the full thing and, and want to rewatch it, re it later. I like having the context uh, of what I am talking about so you guys can actually read the chat. This is just what I want to hear at 7 in the morning. Uh, yes, it uh, will be going to it will be going to YouTube, Suzuka. That's why we're uh, recording the chat as well. Honestly, when uh, Liquid Snake. Sorry, Liquid Ocelot and Naked Snake. I, like the Metal Gear Solid 4 fight when this music goes. Uh, Rectangle, this is going on the YouTube. I do not have a second channel. The one and only channel. Keep everything in one place for the foreseeable future. I don't think that I'll have like a archive channel. Seems like a lot of work. Um, whereas I can just post it to you guys on the main channel days you feel like a tree frog yeah fucking this is awesome it's a James Bond intro dude it's a James Bond game. Kojima went, all right, guys, I'm going to make a James Bond game. Uh, Cobra, I am definitely going to play Metal Gear Rising. I can't wait. It'll be coming. It'll be coming. Metal Gear Solid V was a big game to play and to take in, so... Tiny, tiny bit of a break, but Metal Gear Rising will come. Uh, certainly not Carter, my favorite Bond film. Um, I was raised on um, I was raised on the Sean Connery movies, the originals. So I have a bit of a have a bit of a soft spot for the for the Sean Connery films. Uh, and then I I didn't wa I haven't watched the ones in that middle era. Um, so I've watched the Sean Connery films, uh, Die Another Day, and then the Daniel Craig movies. So I haven't actually watched like Roger Moore, Timothy Dalton. Um, Whoever else um, there has been type deal. Um, yeah, you can't sub to me yet because I'm not a affiliate. Um, I'm not, I don't have the requirements, no. Uh, to get to affiliate, uh, I have to have a following, which I've reached. Um, it's the it's the time that I've streamed and the, the consecutive days, like you have to stream like uh, seven times in a week or something like that um so not eligible for the old um twitch affiliate yet so the best you can do is follow for now until until we get there um and then we'll then we'll see how we go michael elms hello and welcome my friend hello is the mass effect 2 episode tomorrow rectangle um Yes, yes, it is. Um, sorry, I need to. I need to think about 
which videos I have on the Patreon early access and which videos are scheduled to be coming out. Um, the next Mass Effect 3 episode will be the next video uh, on my channel. Uh, so that'll be in 15? 15 hours? No. 17 hours, I think. 17 hours at 12 a.m. midnight, Australian Eastern Standard Time, um, will be when uh, the Mass Effect 2 episode goes live, baby. So I hope you're excited. Uh, Dark Souls 2 episode tomorrow. Um, Dark Souls 2 episode just went... Um, oh no, hang on. Again, early access, sorry. That'll be the day after. <laughs> so Mass Effect 2 uh, will be the next video. Dark Souls 2 will be the video after that, guys. <laughs> uh, and it's a good one too. Get your popcorn ready because the Dark Souls 2 episodes are getting pretty lengthy. That first one we did of the uh, Iron Passage and the Broom Tower is three hours. The next one is also three hours. <laughs> so um, sit tight because uh, just call me Peter Jackson, baby. Uh, I don't think I'll stream. I don't think I'll stream Metal Gear Rising. That'll be a YouTube Let's Play. I just think... Um, like Metal Gear and Metal Gear Two are a little little bit more different. They're a little bit more obscure, so we can um, we can sort of like just hang out and play that together. You guys can be my codec, um, but YouTube playthrough for Me for Metal Gear Rising. Do 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 do. We are just getting started, uh, Yori. We are just getting started. We are ready to get into to to Metal Gear. Uh, DS2, Dead Space, RE2, ME2. Yeah, pretty, pretty much rectangle. Um, they, they go on a good, uh, they're on a good cycle. Space them out every, like, couple of days. Metal Gear Survive at some point, Tristan. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Metal Gear Survive. I did buy it, so, uh, I'll probably, uh, I'll probably do that on stream. We'll do Metal Gear Survive streams. How do I manage to record these long episodes with my job? Uh, Loic, what I do uh, is I wake up uh, very overtired, like a zombie, and I work all day. And then as soon as I finish work, I start recording uh, and I, I play my games. And then after I finish recording, I then edit those videos. Um, and then I stare into space endlessly and then go to sleep. And then... We rinse and repeat that routine, and voila. That's how it works. Um, yes, I can't wait to see my reactions to RE2 Remake either. I can't wait to see my own reactions. Uh, I'm currently just having pretty much a heart attack playing Resident Evil 2. Playing Resident Evil 2 Remake. It's killing me, dude. It's killing me. <laughs> um... The next episode, the next two episodes that I recorded, Resident Evil 2 Remake episodes 2 and th uh, 3 and 4 are just, like, insane. I'm just, like, screaming all the time. <laughs> just <laughs> screaming! Um, because it, it gets it gets insane. And it's and it's tense. And Hardcore Difficulty is a blast. It's actually so fun, but so challenging. But also just so fun. Um, so, enjoy. I'm not, yeah, I'm not overworking myself. At least by my standards. If I was overworking myself, I feel like I would, um, I would pull back, you know? Uh, when I replay the Metal Gear Solid games, Guy and Box, uh, yeah, we will replay on harder difficulties. And I'll be streaming replays as well, so we can do it together. Um, so that'll be, that'll be super fun. Cause like now that I've like had a let's play, it's smooth. We've taken in the story. We've had our first time experience and we're loving the game and loving the world. Uh, we can replay it on the hard difficulty and just make it more of a fun challenge now, you know? Panicking about Mr. X. Don't know what you're talking about. He's so nice. He's so tall and warm and cuddly. He's just a big teddy bear. The game is parts I'll never beat unless I'm told what to do. Tonito, uh, in regards to which game, <laughs> and also don't tell me, please, because I don't want that information. Zero 
Zelda and Fatal Frame at some point antics. Oh yeah, baby. So am I. Um, I did a I did a um, I did a Patreon poll. I did a Patreon poll for the next horror game, and Fatal Frame was included. It did not win, but it did get some love. And every game I put in a Patreon poll is a game that I will play at some point. It's just a matter of which one should I play next. Um, and there was a winner in that one, and that one will be coming soon. Um, replaying Dark Souls 2 before starting DS3. No, that's not how that works. <laughs> I, I think with, especially take like Metal Gear Solid as a template for that is, uh, it'll be playing through the series first blind, and then we revisit games later, you know? Like, that's what I've been doing for, for MGS. Are we ready to get into it? Are we, are we ready to start our first mission, team, for Metal Gear? Certainly not Carter. Splinter Cell is on my radar. I picked up um, all of the original games. Uh, I picked up all of the original games on sale. So they're all backwards compatible on the Xbox. So that'll be another stealth game I get into at some point. All right, instructions. Pretty straightforward. LT, equipment, RT, weapon. X and B, left stick, directional pad. Back button to enter radio mode. Seems pretty straightforward, right? Um, if you're talking about like Metal Gear that I need um, help on, that's why you guys are here. You guys are my codec. You guys are my codec. Uh, Guy in Box, how many times have I played Resi 4? Um, I did it for the, the channel. I did the Let's Play. And then I have played it through again once and then I think I played it through again um but didn't finish it but I like started again because I was like getting everything extra uh because Resident Evil 4 is so fun so fun to play I like replayed it immediately uh in my in my own time Metal Gear 1 is tough beyond measure so original difficulty then or should I just play it on easy come on guys spam original or easy what is it what difficulty are we going to take come on what do you think is going to be best for the stream? What do you think is going to be best? Be fair. I've never played a video game before. I've never played video games. This is my first game that I've ever played. So I've never even seen a controller before. So, all right, original it is. Let's fucking go. This actually works out nicely for where the chat is because we're in a 4 by 3 ratio. <laughs> this is big boss! Operation Intrude, N313. Infiltrate the enemy's base out of heaven and destroy the ultimate weapon, Metal Gear! <laughs> How weird is that to read? This is big boss. Infiltrate the enemy's base out of heaven. So here's, uh, obviously, with the context of the entire Metal Gear Solid series, let's let's reread let's reread this panel. This is Venom Snake, Operation Intrude N three one three. Infiltrate uh, the real Big Boss's base out of heaven and destroy the ultimate weapon, Metal Gear. <laughs> let's go over the details first. Make contact with Gray Fox. <laughs> and find the location of the ultimate weapon, Metal Gear. Let's use frequency 12085 for all communications from now on. Over. Dude, how wild is that? Oh god, I hate, I hate that, uh, I hate that sound effect. This is Solid Snake, come in. This is Solid Snake. Come in. No one's answering me. All right, let me just get a handle for things. Equipment select. Cigarettes. Surgeon General's warning. Cigarette smoking may be hazardous to your health. Weapon select. Great. Check these sound effects out. All right, we have a punch. Punch. 
So we use we use equipment with equipped weapon with X, B button to throw a punch. It's very basic. Good stuff. Um This is Colonel Campbell Snake. A lot of Metal Gear Solid 1 concepts in this game. Yeah, probably. Probably. Venom Snake is the one giving Solid Snake the orders here, right? Ah, uh, yeah. Yes. Yes, it is. Naked Snake, well, like Big Boss being the one on the codec. Interesting. Okay. So, um... Oh, I just realized that I'm smoking my cigarettes. How do we stop smoking them? <laughs> okay, I have to do that. I've been smoking my cigarettes this whole time. Draining my, uh, draining my health. I can't stop smoking! I'm addicted to smoking! What do you mean I can't smoke in here, Otacon? Look at these pixelated characters. Um, guys, Metal Metal Gear One remake when? Okay, should I just leave? Oh shit! <laughs> this is Big Boss. The mission is infiltration. Make sure that the enemy does not discover your whereabouts. Over. So Big Boss, the real Big Boss, is talking to us. Um, and being like, go after the enemy in Outer Heaven, which is Venom Snake, right? So, okay, so the way the game works is really just like avoiding people entering zones. Can I go in here? We can picked up rations guys these uh these graphics are revolutionary it's great to go from the the phantom pain to this oh there's a dude in here as well oh so he can only see you if you're in his direct line of sight interesting okay i'll take that that is a big truck right Picked up binoculars. Um, these cards open doors. Card numbers will differ depending on the type of door. I'm very familiar with that from Metal Gear Solid 1. Rations. Allows you to see the one screen up, down, left, or right of your present location. Cannot be used indoors. Um, I need to... This is Big Boss. Binoculars. Use these to survey the surrounding area. With these, you can look out at distant terrain and check the enemy's positions. Make sure... Make these binoculars your friend. Over. Dude, how do I get out of the... <laughs> Just get me out of here, dude. <laughs> I don't want to be here anymore. <laughs> I'm pressing it. Why can't I get out of the, of the codec? Holy shit. Why can't I get out of here? <laughs> Thank you. All right, we're out. My God, it just keeps it just keeps activating the codec every time. All right, so we've got the binoculars equipped. Use equipment. Telescope mode. Okay, there we go. And then it just goes through in... There's dogs up there. People there. Okay, I see how this works. So if I go here, and then back out... God, this is like archaic, dude. do I back out of this? <laughs> this is... <laughs> the biggest enemy in, uh, in Metal Gear Solid... Sorry, in Metal Gear is the fucking controls. Oh, that dude... Oh shit, we've just alerted the dogs. And that dude comes out of the truck as well. Dude, 
Let me know if the volume is too loud and you do want me to turn it down. Um, I, I know that like old school, I know that old school music can get very repetitive and stuck in your head. I'm sure after this stream, guys, you will be humming the original Metal Gear music forever. I really like what they could do with these like MIDI sounds though, right? I really liked what they could do. Um, like the harmonies that they can get and like the like the variation from like these computer sounds, right? Is like really good. I grew up on Final Fantasy 7 and that MIDI soundtrack, so like I'm fine with it. Because I would hum those tunes until the end of time, you know? Oh. Look at that stealth! I should really be using the binoculars um, when I want to check. We got a gun! Picked up a handgun! Boss! How do I use a gun? It's my first time! This is Solid Snake, come in! This is Big Boss, handgun! You know how to use this, right? Look for ammunition. Don't waste a single bullet. Over. <laughs> That's a giant gun! Boss, this gun is huge! Pistol, because the X button to shoot one round can be fitted with a suppressor. It does look like Metal Gear Solid 1, right? Wait until I hear Metal Gear 2 music. Um. I will say that there is one, two songs. Oh shit! Hang on. There's two songs that I've heard from Metal Gear 2, which is the theme of Solid Snake and Zanzibar Breeze, and I'm fucking addicted to those songs. Like, they're ridiculously good. Even the original music, as well as the Metal Gear Solid integral versions, I've listened to on YouTube. It's, it's incredible. Oh, those guys have now pieced out, and they're moved. That's weird. So there's two enemies in... Okay, I see how this works. We got a mine. Boss, I picked up a mine. Be careful, there are Claymore mines out there. This is Solid Snake, come in. This is Big Boss. Mines? You know how to use these, right? Over. Oh, that's, that's his tip. Guys, that's Big Boss's tip. Mines? You know how to use these, right? <laughs> Oh my god. Uh, yeah, I believe this is the MSX version, because when you boot it up in Metal Gear Solid 3 Subsistence, it says... Um, MSX at the beginning. Um, let's have a look at this. Can we open this with the keycard? That's a nope. Great, now I've accidentally gone over this side, and we got two guards. Go back into your truck. Back in your truck. Alright, we have to stand here and wait for these guys to move, because what we did, what I found out when we were waiting here, is they will eventually walk away, apparently. Snake's Revenge just got a vinyl release. Ah, oh, Shift Change. That's what popped up. Um, do we not talk about Snake's Revenge, apparently? It doesn't really exist, because it's like... Um, I think from what I know about it, it's when Konami tried to do Metal Gear without Kojima really early on, right? And they did Snake's Revenge for, like, the West. Um, that's the story of Snake's Revenge, right? Maybe we should play it regardless. Easy goes. That's okay. No worries. Uh, the Mass Effect 2 episode will be the next video on the channel. So, for me, it's today. For you, it might be tomorrow. I don't know how time zones work, but it will be the next... It will be the next one on the channel. So, stay tuned. Oh, man. We got a lift. Oh, I have to manually... Oh, hang on. We can take it down to this level. Why? <laughs> Why can we... Oh, maybe we can hide from, like, a soldier on, like, either side. Check that out. 
Snake's Revenge vinyl sold out, but MG2 is still in pre-order. Maybe I should pre-order. I actually really like vinyl. I have a small, tiny vinyl collection. But only one soundtrack. The only soundtrack I have on vinyl is Cowboy Bebop. Everything else is like an actual album. This is Big Boss. Watch out for the surveillance cameras. Over. Um, oh, those are the cameras. Look at these advanced cameras, dude. Check that out. Amazing. I really, again, I should be using the binoculars. I forget that I have them. Hold on. Probably not useful in this scenario. Hold on. Alright. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. No. Oh, they were, they were, they were on different levels. Oh shit, dude, they were on top of me. <laughs> dude, stop! <laughs> All right, I'm dead. Look at my health. I'm dead, dude. When they see you, you have no time to recover. All right, it's ration time. Shall we try again? Those cameras are the weapon to surpass Metal Gear. Let's try again, shall we? Yeah, this game reimagined on Fox Engine would be insane. I'm surprised, because like, Metal Gear Solid 5 has mods, so I was just like, um, what if people remade Metal Gear 1 and 2 in the Phantom Bay, right? That would be, that would be awesome. Alright, now let's have a look. So, where we are now, if you go down, that will lead us to two guards and a door, and there's a door on the left there, I think, with that black square. I think that's where we have to go. <laughs> no! Get me out of here. This is harder than Dark Souls, probably. He's just gonna tell me to avoid the cameras again. You can just exit and re-enter rooms, trucks to farm items. Interesting. Alright, so I need to do this to then let this camera go all the way up. There is many card keys and no way to know which card key corresponds to each door. Not surprised. Ah, oh, fucking goddammit! Okay, as long as you enter a room, the alert disappears. You just have to be quick. Alright, and now we have ammo. We can shoot people. You gonna tell me how ammo works, big boss? Please tell me. This is Solid Snake. Come in. This is Big Boss. Remember, there's a limit on the amount of ammunition you can carry. Really? How dare you? Guys, it's a prisoner. <laughs> can we fault and recovery him? I'm saved! Can we do any- can we, what? Nope, no one- no one? Okay. Fault and recovery with a wormhole upgrade because we're inside. Oh, that door just- oh, so that door just opens automatically, so- okay. What I really wish it had, and this is funny because we are in a state of mind where we're in fucking 2021 and I'm gonna try and critique Metal Gear 1 from 1987, but Every door has a red light on it. It'd be nice if it was green, if I could go into it. But, you know. Why am I almost dead? What the hell? Why am I getting damaged? This is Big Boss. I forgot to tell you. You'll need a gas mask for the gas room. Fuck off. <laughs> Schneider, the leader of the resistance, should be able to tell you where to get a gas mask. Over. Dude, I'm literally in this room dying. Look how quickly my health just went down. What the fuck? <laughs> this prison is gone. Hey, Solid Snake, I forgot to tell you, you're gonna die from the gas. <laughs> you're gonna die. Just stroll in with a walker gear. Oh, wow, you can just re-enter a room and farm items. Jesus. Ah, oh, I'm gonna go and farm some rations then. I'm gonna get some rations.
You better just go back down, buddy. Don't you fucking dare. Okay, god damn it. I'm gonna go get rations, otherwise I'm dead. <laughs> I can punch them? Yeah. Oh, true. I can, actually. At least you can punch while you still have the, the gun equipped as well. I just feel like I'm gonna fuck it up. If I try and punch them, it'll like alert them. Is a punch like a one hit kill? Not a kill, but like does it take them out? Big Boss is the worst guide. What is this dude's problem? Ah, oh, there's no guards here now either. Oh, there they are. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Fucking god damn it, dude. Leave me alone. Just run. <laughs> Solid snake ste steps in acid. So, I forgot to tell you about the acid. I'm sorry you don't have legs anymore. <laughs> Alright, rations, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Wow, you really can just farm the items. It's how- it, this is how we're gonna win, baby. This is- this is how we're gonna win. Thank God, look at that. That's a good, that's a good ability right there. How many rations can we hold? Tasty! Russian rations. Was it the Soviet rations? I uh, can't carry anymore. Okay, we can carry three. We can carry three. I really enjoyed your tip. Thank you so much, Guy and Box. This is why we're playing Metal Gear 1 live. You guys are my codec, because Big Boss is unreliable and he's literally trying to get me killed. Big Boss is trying to get me killed here, dude. Meanwhile, you guys want to see me succeed in my mission to destroy Venom Snake and Out of Heaven. When your class increases, your capacity does. That's interesting. Do, 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 do. This music's actually good. This is a good theme to repeat, at least. It's got a good little good little jingle in there, so it's not like boring. It's not too boring. You say try shooting people, but we don't have a suppressor yet, because it says that we need to We can attach our gun with a suppressor. It's a stealth game, dude. It's more exciting. I really liked how much stealth I used in um, Metal Gear Solid 5. Like, the stealth focus there was really good. Oh, I shot my gun! No! I'm, see, this you, you want, to t want me to shoot people? Oh, actually, they're actually pretty weak. They die in one hit. Oh. And then no more people come? Wow. Oh, that's actually kind of easy. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> they just spot you and you're like, boop! Eat my, eat my white dot of doom, bitch. Nice. Snake, I'm gonna end this medic's whole career. Yeah, bitch, like... <laughs> so, Snake, I killed Big Boss! Meanwhile, medic just being like, ugh. Ah, oh, 50 must be the max, because we only got 4 extra. Raise your class by rescuing the prisoner. Okay. Someone call him a medic. Uh, I need to have keycard on. To then... God damn it. Um, I think the door just opens automatically. If you've got the right key. I believe. Let's have a look. No? Yes? The battle music is actually so good. The AI in this is so dumb that it's really good for me. Okay, let's take off the gun. How do we open these doors, man? You have to equip the keys, the correct one for each door. 
Well, I've got the key on, right? Depending on which type of door. More places to explore downstairs. It's funny that you say downstairs, and I'm like, where is downstairs, guys? <laughs> what, what does downstairs mean? <laughs> Setting mine seems like a good idea, at least if you know if enemies are going to walk. So lots of backtracking, okay. Let's go back. Ah, oh, this is downstairs, I guess, down the elevator. To those of you who are hopeful that I beat this game today, we'll see how we go. With your help, we'll get there. Oh, hang on, there was a door over here, isn't there? Can we open this with the card? Nope. Maybe back all the way at the beginning. There were some dogs, actually, weren't there? Try and see if we can get into that area. I'll make a solid attempt. Something I do at least love and appreciate is the fact that these guys can only look in one direction. Oh, and I can still fuck it up. When in doubt, go back to the ration truck. This is just, uh, this is just solid snakes. Uh, these aren't actually rations, guys. This is actually a burger truck. This is a uh, McDonald Miller's uh, burger truck. And he's like, mmm, tasty burger. Give me my burger for my health. Chemical burger. I just filled it with preservatives. Oh, shit. Just restart the encounter, why don't we? Oh, this is just... Now this is just annoying. May as well just do that and just move on with my life. This is Big Boss. The mission is infiltration. Yeah, I... Yeah, yeah, all right. All right. The mission is infiltration. Sorry, I forgot to tell you about the fucking gas. You're gonna die. Ah, oh, here we go, right? Yeah. So the doors do open automatically. There's the gas mask. <laughs> it's huge. Yawn. I'm sleepy. <laughs> Yawn. I'm sleepy. Fell asleep. <laughs> Psychomantis. Yeah, true. This is actually... Yawn. I'm sleepy. Yeah, this is the, actually the gas mask that belonged to the third child. Sleep. All right, picked up gas mask. Talk to me about it. Gas mask. You use this in the gas room. Over. That is revolutionary information. I love that he's like, find the resistance leader, right? Because wasn't he talking about like the resistance leader or something? To get more information on the gas mask, but it's in a room with a random soldier. Yeah, that's Johnny. He runs out of the room to go and shit himself. Johnny, no! Don't shit yourself! Please, stop farting everywhere, Johnny. Fucking Akiba, man. The worst part of Metal Gear Solid 4, as much as I love it, it's fucking Akiba. God damn it. Like... <laughs> Johnny, we're in the middle of a firefight. Please, for the love of God, stop shitting your pants. Big Boss to Venom. You are Big Boss too. Also, Big Boss sends one of his clones to kill Venom. <laughs> you are Big Boss, and so am I. Now die. Get 
runs in the family. Wait, it was always Venom Snake? Always has been. So, now that we have the gas mask, we, or now, go to the gas room. I love how it's correctly labeled the gas room. Like, Big Boss developing Outer Heaven while Venom Snake is doing his stuff, right? He's going over the schematics for Outer Heaven and he goes, Alright guys, we need a gas room. And I'm not going to tell you what we're going to use the gas room for, but it probably has a very bad consequences and related to a very significant event in history, and that is very bad. <laughs> Why didn't Snake mar marry Meryl? Marry Meryl? Come on, you're going to make me say that tongue twister out loud? Um, snake did not marry Meryl because Akiba is the superior snake. Akiba's genes are just too good to pass up, dude. Don't you want that type of, um, don't you want those type of shitty genes in your family? Oh, hang on, I need to fucking equip the gas mask, don't I? For God's sake. Look at this, Schneider, the leader of the Resistance, should be able to tell you where to get a gas mask. Over. Is there, like, someone on... But there's... We just got question marks. Didn't... He should have given me a... Shouldn't he have given me a codec signal? To, like... Talk to this guy? Otherwise, how do we get Resistance Man? How do we talk to him? I don't know. There we go, we got the gas mask equipped. Having burgers tonight, thanks to you. Yeah. Okay, so you have to equip the key card to open the door, to then put the gas mask on. Then you can go in. Right. That's how that works. I forgot to tell you, <laughs> you'll need a gas mask for the gas room. Schneider, the leader of the resistance, should be able to tell you. Well, you say isn't Schneider a prisoner? We freed a prisoner but then he just disappears. So I don't know if that was the resistance guy. I also don't know if we can talk to people. Because with the, in terms of the instructions, we only have, there's no like action button. It's just like punch or use item. I missed a room in the lower level. Ah, uh, rip. RIP. That's fine. We did it without him. Except now I can't open this door. Do I have to equip the key card? To get the door open? I fucking do! What a joke! How does that game- <laughs> You have to use the fucking card! You have to take the gas mask off! What the hell? Ridiculous. Just punch the gas into submission. This gas is gonna catch my hands in a minute. Alright, so we freed this guy, right? Thanks for saving me. The Foxhound member that infiltrated this base a few days ago is unarmed. Uh, they captured him, and that's Grey Fox. How cool is that, right? That Grey Fox is in the original Metal Gear? Grey Fox! Yeah, we can't talk to this guy after. Okay. Now let's try this next door. Um, yeah, Metal Gear Solid 1 was good because it had like the number on the doors, which is good. Oh no, wait, hold on, I need to... Ah oh, shit. Ah oh, shit! Here we go again. I'll just punch him but I'm going to get caught by the camera. I can't win. Oh, this door's locked anyway. Rip. Uh... Oh, the music is still going. Oh my god, the music- WHAT THE FUCK?! <laughs> what is that?! What the fuck?! <laughs> Picked up plastic <laughs> What? 
He doesn't even have anything to say. Oh, hang on, he does. Plastic explosives, you can set these explosives anywhere. Thanks. Um, again, you know, big boss going over the schematics for Out of Heaven. Just went, guys, we really need a roly-poly tunnel room. And you enter the, <laughs> you enter the room and there's just a big metal roly-poly tunnel. Sometimes I like to put mother base soldiers in there and we just fucking roll them around for conditioning. This is actually the brig, guys. So whenever we put it, whenever we catch a soldier and we put them in the brig, this is what that looks like. We just put them in here. And then you just hear them screaming out of the tiny holes like, Enough boss, I'll join mother base. <laughs> I'm assuming I need to blow this shit up. Or I just need to... Actually, no, I don't. I just need to do... This. Ah! Nice. Oh, the fucking alert music is still going here. I could just shoot him. But what if we... I'm, f I'm fucked. <laughs> Eat my bullets, I'm gonna die. <laughs> okay, can the, the alert music... Okay, the alert music can stop. It's just Huey trapped inside. That was the most hectic alert yet. Boss, get down! The enemy is roly-poly! We got a new card! Card number two. And now, we have to remember every door Leave me alone. Okay, guys, can, can the music... Let, let, come on. Leave me alone. Don't enter the room with me! Okay, we're good. They came in the room with me too. I have to, I have to backtrack and go get some more rations now. Oh, for fuck's sake! Alright, we punched one out. We actually did that. <laughs> what the fuck? This is Big Boss. I forgot to tell you. In order to turn off the juice, you'll have to destroy the electrical power panel. You need an RC missile. Remote controlled missile, I assume? Schneider, the leader of the resistance, should be able to tell you where to get one. Okay, guys, we're gonna we're gonna backtrack all the way to the beginning. We're gonna backtrack all the way to the beginning. So we can get more rations and then speak to fucking What's his face? Schneider. Big boss, is there anything else you forgot to tell me before you get off this stupid radio? Yes, there's actually two big bosses. And you'll kill me, and you'll think I'm dead, but I'm actually alive. And then we'll have a we'll have a CQC hug in a graveyard in 2014. That's how this works, Snake. Oops. I fucked it. I hate that the alert music lasts in this area. I can't carry any more. Alright, we can only carry one explosive. Please stop. Please stop. Please stop. Oh, I just realized that we didn't even equip that... the card level 2... when we tried that other door before. Oh, this is fucked up. The way that this works is just bad. <laughs> like when you have the card key, like when you have the fuck's sake, when you have the card key, it should just automatically open the doors. You shouldn't have to equip it. Because now I am so close to death. There is a data save option. Okay, maybe we should save for the first time. Wouldn't that be? Wouldn't that be smart? Because someone did mention just saving. <laughs> Thanks, Steve. <laughs> We've never we haven't saved yet. God. 
Let's let's do that. This is probably the perfect time to save, considering we are. Oh, the alert's still going, right? Yeah, that's a thing. Shit, man. Good time to save, huh? <laughs> Wait. Why am I here? Oh. That's interesting. What does that mean? So where you where you save is not where you resume. We now have our uh we now have our uh, You always respawn in the elevator room. What? What's the point of saving then? I, I it's like a save state. Jesus. All right, well let's go do that again. Uh I guess while we're here, let's go f get Schneider, right? No, let's not do that, because I, I bet you 100% will free Schneider, but he won't tell us about the remote control missile launcher until we get the dialogue with Big Boss saying, go talk to Schneider about the remote control missile. So I'll, I would be backtracking for my backtracking if we go to him now, right? I did get all my rations back, which is nice. So we can try this again, but smarter, stealthier. <sighs> you get a radio frequency? Oh, you get a radio frequency, actually. That is... Duh. Hmm. Yeah, all right. Let's do it. Let's go back and let's get Snyder. We'll get him first, so then we can just radio frequency him. Am, is, am I not at full health with, um... I thought, I, I thought that this was... Yeah. I'm at full health. So, the life gauge only sits at half. So I can't eat a ration yet. Now, room down the bottom, right? Oh, like across this way? No. So this is where we started. And then this way... Ah, uh, there's like a... It's a head. <clears throat> I will have to get used to the binoculars, won't I? I react to some parodies? Yes. Yes, I will. At some point. Hello, Boki. Welcome. Welcome to the stream. Well, because this is a gate, right? So it's not this way. That door. <clears throat> yeah, but how do I get here? Because it's a gate. How do I get there? Because we're outside. There's no pathway from inside. Ah, oh, from inside. Boy! That does make sense. Oh, from this side. Yeah, this is where I... Ah, this door. This door? 
Can I use binos in... You can't use binos in... For unlocked... Do for locked doors. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Guys, the alerts just got harder. Let me get rid of this alert first. Oh, is it this way? No, because that's just above there. This, 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 this is one of those moments, right? This is a apocalypse moment, okay? This is a apocalypse moment where I feel that the answer is right in front of me. Oh, it's that fucking door. Okay, I can see it. No, I can I can see it. All right, I can see it. I know what it is now. <laughs> nah, it's yeah. You're saying right above the gun. I thought you what you were saying was it's above where we find the gun. Yeah. Bottom bottom right. Yeah, I can see it now. Literally this look at it's it blends in. The door doesn't open. The door does not open, though. So how the hell are we supposed to... So you need to get a level 2 card. But then you need to... Uh, you, need, you get a level 2 card after the gas room. But then Big Boss tells you to go get Schneider and find out where the gas mask is. So are you not supposed to get Schneider before the gas mask room? Right? That's weird, yeah? Because if it's if it's this door, it won't open. So that's just really that's really interesting. Because this is the this is the door that we need to go through. Because it leads to there. So that's just really strange. You get around the fence from outside the fortress to the right. Mm. We're gonna just go get the level 2 card and then we'll come back and get Schneider, which is what we we're gonna do in the beginning. We'll get through this together, team. Good old, good old foxhound. Good old foxhound. <laughs> Oops. Great that they made the, that they made this harder on me. Reload my save file. I don't think that's going to do anything, though. So you reach a certain point in the game... You reach a certain point in the game where the alerts actually carry over into different rooms. Sometimes the... <laughs> Sometimes the fucking inventory screen doesn't even open in good time. So then, like, you lose all this bonus health. You're supposed to get a call from him on the third floor of Building 1. Supposedly it happens in a random room, but doesn't always happen. Okay. You're supposed to get his frequency from, like, the codec manual. That's uh, from the game manual. That does make sense. I thought it would have, like, because this is an online version, that it would have just, like, they would have put something in, like, an instructions, but no. Yeah, it will be sad to put down some doggos. How did that guy not die? Alright, we're back where we started. Rationless.
While in the room where the west elevator is, open the codec and tune past a certain point. So that's like a trigger. Interesting. Can we still get it? How do we tune the... Okay, so I guess you have to be in the particular room. We have card two, okay? Kill that dude. This takes me to the electric floor. Now, can we use key card two on this door? Yes, we can. Aha! Dude, oh my god, we were this close to more rations. Ridiculous! <laughs> we were... We should have just done that. We should have just done this. And now we can farm some rations back. Good stuff. Good stuff. No need to ration rations. If only we checked this room first. I did try, but I had the wrong keycard equipped, so there you go. All right, I'm in a better place to do a data save, which is not actually a save at all. There we go. How long is this game usually? Like, how, lo how long is this game? Three hours on easy. Speedrunners say about ten minutes. Yeah, that that'd be fucking. That would be right, wouldn't it? Forty-five hours on your first run. Did anyone? Is there anyone here who played this game around the time that it like first came out? Or like, you know, like early days? Is there anyone who played this? When this, uh, <laughs> when this was how you played video games? In a time period that I really struggled to understand how to play these games. Japanese only. Yeah, true, actually. That that does make sense. When did it get when did it get released in in English? Oh, it got released in English in like the NES version. Two thousand five. Damn, that, that's a long time. That is a long time. Oh, dude, who fucking needs Schneider, right? Who the hell? Who hell? Who needs this guy? <laughs> we got the remote control missile. Who needs Schneider, buddy? Not me. Oh, we can only carry one. We can only carry one. Oh no, we can't. we got five. Use the D-pad to control the path of the missile. Player cannot move while controlling the missile. God, I struggled with this in Metal Gear Solid 1, so let's see how we go, hey. Oh, fuck. Um, I'm now going to... I'm now going to try and see if we can open this door with the level 2 keycard. Um, for that dude. We'll see, okay? And if it doesn't open with level 2, then I don't know what to tell you, okay? Don't know what to tell you. Then we'll just proceed with the with the electric floor. Oh, we forgot to pick up the um that's right. We'll pick it up on the on the way back through the um 
that electronic explosive. Who needs this guy? I'm the main character. Higher level cards don't supersede the lower ones? They should, right? Exactly. If you have a higher one, just equip that. Ridiculous. Raiden rolls up for a time paradox. <laughs> Raiden, what are you doing here? It's 1987. Oh no, wait, uh, that's when the game came out. What is this? This is 1995, right? 1995, and then Metal Gear 2 is 1999. Is that correct? Raiden, it's 1995. You're not supposed to show up for another 12 years. No, hang on. 14 years, 2009. Here we go, moment of truth. Saved now. Oh, cause like the elevator is, so is like that elevator, like every time you go through it, it checkpoints what you have or, or not. Oh, that's great. Okay, so the elevator room is like the nice little save spot. Sweet, sweet. We will see. All right, are we ready? Fuck. <laughs> It ain't. That door, that door is not a level two card. Ridiculous. It's all right. Turns out it's a, it's actually a glitch. It's not even a door. The door is not real snake. It's a phantom door. It's, it's the medical, it's the medical platform door all over again. It's not even there, the guys. So the only thing that we have to do is the remote control missile. Remote control missile. That camera, that, that fuck that camera. I didn't think it had that wide of a view. Like, it, but apparently it does. What the? <laughs> this emergency exit is only painted on. Hey, Chocolate Rob, thanks for checking in as well. Nice to see you. Fucking level one card. gas mask the game does teach you it teaches you painfully to do these things like in sequence drop rations that's the first time menu gear oh. oh no it's the brig all right we need to get this cool we got a plastic explosive I don't know when we're gonna use it but we'll see <clears throat> can we not blow up this weird tunnel thing all right Complex menuing, a weapon to surpass Metal Gear. Menu gear, endless menus and buttons. Give me a cardboard box, man. Give me the cardboard. to just punch this guy. I really like the range that's good, so you don't have to be like right on top of them. <coughs> so, alright, I see what we have to do. 
Let's try give... I don't know how this works, so... Let's try... Oh god, that's quick. I'd expect nothing less. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm gonna need to clear my throat. It's early. That coffee's starting to settle in. Yeah, strange love. Pretty, pretty much like a lesbian, mostly into women. And then goes, all right, Huey, I'll give you a chance. Gets trapped in a fucking AI pod, right? Like, um, sorry. <clears throat> yeah, strange love really picked the wrong man. That was better than my first attempt with the Nikita, because the Nikita was awful, but how the fuck does this work? <laughs> Remember Metal Gear Solid 2, when we're trying to, like, direct the fucking missile, like, past the president, and we just kept blowing up the president? <laughs> that was, that was not good. That was not good. Alright, there's a door here. So... Shit, hold on. Uh, fuck. Oh, the bullets don't go very far, do they? Jesus. Bullets actually disappear after a certain period of time. No! I wasted that. Okay. Need to remember binoculars. All right, there's a metal door. Metal door! And then... Uh, fucking... Pathway. Over here. <clears throat> oh, I was gonna try and punch that guy. He was very easily alerted to my presence. All right, we got a door, and another door. Okay, both these doors can be up. Yo, cardboard box, bitch. <laughs> yes. Yo. Talk to me about the cardboard box. This is big boss. Cardboard box. Are you moving house or something? Over. You know what pisses me off about this is like the the naked snake and the big boss that we know would be so happy about this, right? He'd be like, "Cardboard box, feels like home. Just feels comfy, you know." There's something about this box. Just when you get inside it, like I understand this box. Me and this box are one. Big boss is just like you can tell that big boss has changed, man. He's changed. Or he's like, he's trying to like push Solid Snake away from using it. He's like, are you trying to move house or something? This is so dumb because he knows that the cardboard box is the secret to his success in the mission. He's like, don't, don't do it. Exactly, Steve. He knew he would be doomed. He's like trying to be like, don't use it. It's my greatest weakness. Yes. <laughs> can we move though? I guess we can just hide when we're in sight. This is going to be so good. We're a cardboard box. <clears throat> a couple of tips above for the future. Sorry, let me have a look. I don't know. I, I missed it. I missed it. Oh, you left me a tip. Just a box. Okay, they can spot you in the box when you move. <laughs> You gonna fucking give me a heads up first before you pull that shit on me? Uh, this is just a this is just a battle room. What if we equip the cardboard cardboard box, right? What if we enter the room in a cardboard box? Nope, doesn't work. Doesn't work. Does not work. Um, fucking god, get me the fuck out of here. I'm gonna die, dude. I just get out of here? 
It's a trap room. What a joke. I'm out. That door does not open. I, have, I need to go back and get rations now. You get the silencer after you beat them. Fuck. Alright, let me get... Let me get my... Did you feel the tension there? I did. Just an unsuspecting box. Fuck! Um. No! No! Get me the fuck. <gasps> what do you mean the fucking electric floor's back? What do you mean the electric floor's back? What the fuck? How did the electric floor come back? <laughs> They got, they got fucking someone repairing that shit super quick. They called a mechanic. What the fuck? Dude, just when you think it's safe. All right, hold on. Now let's reassess the situation. We have... Stop, big boss. I don't care. Uh, we have the card. Diamond dog security is fast. This is, this is out of heaven. They they got they're on a whole fucking different level, baby. Two tips for when I go back to MGS one. Uh, binos are my friend for sure because then I could have seen what was in that room, right? Yeah. Dude, this camera, this one camera keeps fucking me up because I literally assume that it's not going to see me. This, I got caught by this camera four times now. You nothing. Report everything. Can the level two key card open that door? It can. Nice. Rescued. When does my class rank increase? God damn it. Roll credits, yeah, that's it. We rescued the prisoners, and Big Boss lived to fight another day. Roll credits. <clears throat> Let's get this door open. Five prisoners. We've rescued three. I like that you can just walk right past them when they're moving, it's so funny. Ah, oh, I need to get rations anyway, so we'll try that again. 
also glad that there's a ration room here. Alright, we're going to try and get this silencer then. By killing these enemies. Which should be fine, because we've got three rations. we got enough bullets to supply out of heaven. The soldiers must think that solid is venom. True. Also, like, so, like something that's really funny to point out is... Think about how well Big Boss ages. Big Boss is, like, genetically perfect. And this is, like, a thing that is, like... A thing that goes through, like, the whole story. Uh, like, he's in his... Um, how old? Like, Big Boss... Uh, like, Naked Snake uh, was born... When was Naked Snake born, right? Like, in the 30s? He's in his he's in his he's in his thirties um, in Metal Gear Solid Three, right? Big Boss when is in his fifties when he was cloned. So Big Boss was born in nineteen thirty-five. So he was twenty-nine. Big Boss was twenty-nine in Metal Gear Solid Three, right? Uh, this is set in nineteen ninety-five. So Solid Snake, Solid Snake is like, how old Solid? He was born in 1972, so he's 23. And then we get to Metal Gear Solid 4, <laughs> and obviously Old Snake with his inf inferior genetics uh, is like, turns into Grandpa, and then it looks the same age as, as Big Boss, it's so funny. Um, but yeah, because Solidus ages, interestingly as well. But he's more, he's he's more like the perfect clone, so. <clears throat> figuring out law. Uh, figuring out the law, my friend. Figuring out the law. I don't know if you missed the previous Nikita Fiery. But I got it first try, so let me live. Oh, we didn't pick up the electronic part again because of the stupid checkpoint. Alright, hold on. I need to go back and get this part. Yeah, like... I'm pretty sure it's, uh, it makes, oh, fuck, it makes sense for it to be Solid Snake on the cover of MGS, uh, sorry, of Metal Gear 1, and he looks like, sort of like, generic 80s action hero, which is really funny, considering what, um, how the game, especially the later games, are built on tacti tactical espionage, and not action, primarily at least. Just fuck these guys up. No spoilers for Metal Gear Rising, please. I mean, to be fair, this uh, is probably easier to control with the rockets <laughs> in this game that is Metal Gear Solid 1, because you can see the full pathway ahead of you. It's much easier. Now. We don't have the cardboard box yet. Idiot. It's like, I'll just hide here and we'll use the cardboard box. We don't have the cardboard box yet. Because we died. So hang on, if we go back in this room, is this is this floor? Holy fuck. That is ridiculous. Alright, now we only have two rations. 
to go to take on this room and less ammo. Never mind. The gamer guards smiled on us there. Now, I need to figure out how to operate this room without getting seen. But if we do kill one of these guys, it takes the total number down to two. Shit. Alright, I tried. What? Alright, give me the cardboard box back, please. Big boss is Sean Connery in this game. Yeah, Kurt Russell, right? Because he got Escape from New York from Metal Gear 2. Didn't uh, Kojima want Kurt Russell um, to replace Hader at some point? Okay, are we ready? Because I'm not, but let's go. Oh, I need to fucking kill him. Alright, let me in. Let's go! Okay, so they can hit me when I'm not in the line, but... Oh, this fucking dude. Honestly. You're really gonna do this to me, buddy. What the fuck are you doing? Die! <laughs> Picked up the suppressor. Nice. Alright, so it automatically has... So it automatically have it equipped. Okay, he's got nothing to say about the suppressor. And this door doesn't do anything. Russians autofill your health. Okay. I was wondering about that because I was trying to like activate it, but it wasn't working. Alright, we've got the suppressor. Uh we have to go, we have to go back. We have to go back. So I need to get rations. Damages the box. We actually survive. So if he walks into the box, it doesn't give away our, our position. Oh, that's great. So you just have to hope that. Okay, you just have to hope that he doesn't. Yeah, Big Boss is 60 in this game, dude. Ugh! Oh, shit. I've fucked myself now, haven't I? Okay. not Venom Snake? Yeah, it is. Metal Gear 1. <laughs> no! Ah! For fuck's sake. This is pain. This is pain. This is pain. This is the part where it gets a little bit frustrating. Oh look, I'm getting spammed. Oh god, what's happening here? Sorry guys, let me just deal with this straight away. This is annoying. 
being my own moderator. The Patriots have infested the chat. It's literally the AI, right? They actually, they're actually the reason why I died just then. I got like the fox die virus in my game and then they've uh, infiltrated my um, infiltrated my Twitch chat. Yeah, you love getting this on Twitch without the YouTube editing. Raw and uncut Mapocalypse action, Portstone. Because you know that if I died just there, what would happen is I would go and cry in another room for 20 minutes. <laughs> and then I would get back up to where we were off screen and then we would continue because it saves you sort of like the pain that I have to go through to repeat the whole thing. Because I feel really bad about that. These are the moments where I literally go, "Man, this is embarrassing," <laughs> and and it's a and it's a bit of a it's a bit of a stress, especially when there are people that literally call me the worst gamer in existence. Yes, people have that opinion of me. Most recently, the fact that I was terrible at hacking in Mass Effect 2 at the beginning because I didn't understand how it worked because it was my first time hacking in the game, but that's fine. I am bold, Buzz. What are my views on 1995 Venom Snake J Dog? I don't know, because I don't know him. Uh, we haven't met him yet, so I don't know who 1995 Venom Snake is. Okay, this time we're going to get this fucking electric panel in the beginning without backtracking this is this is this is a great track it's like if you're gonna have a catchy track that just repeats you need to make sure it's good Yeah, my views on 1995 Venom Snake, uh, we'll find out once we've killed him. So yeah, I have limited knowledge of what this game is. Um, which is essentially, because we've played the rest of the Metal Gear series, you kind of can put two and two together of what, what the hell's going on. So I have, like, slight story information of what's happening here already. Like, I know this is Venom type deal. But I don't know how the game actually actually works. The engraving on your cardboard box gives you no tactical advantage whatsoever. Okay. <laughs> boss, get down. That's an enemy solid snake. Thanks, Ocelot. There's definitely some bullshit in this game though. For example, this room repairing itself. Because now we have to go and get the suppressor. It almost makes me want to, after we do this and get the suppressor, go back um, to the elevator. <laughs> um, unless, can someone tell me, is there going to be an elevator shortly after? Or should I just backtrack just to save my progress again? And save my equipment? I don't know. I don't know what the best move would be to do. So, thanks for checking in. It's good to see you. Uh, it is an early rendition of what became Metal Gear Solid 1, yeah. So, like, Metal Gear 1 and 2. Um, and then Metal Gear Solid, I'm pretty sure the whole reason for it being called Metal Gear Solid was not for Metal Gear Solid, like, not Solid Snake, but it was because it was in 3D, right? Like, it was, like, a solid physical graphics and stuff, right? Pretty sure that was, like, the, con like, the naming reason but then it just like yeah solid is in 3d polygons but then it worked out well for it also being solid snake so 
So like there's there's music in this game that's very much like um, Metal Gear Solid 1. The music's great. It's a lot of fun. Alright, we got to this we got to this room better than we did last time. We've got three gauges and full ammo. I'm ready for the fight. Now I'm ready for the fight. So, should I- do I take the risk? Do rations definitely auto-use <laughs> if we're about to die? Okay, they do. Thank you. Alright, we did that much better. More story in the manual than the game itself. Yeah, I think that's like how that- how that works. So here's me wondering if there's going to be an elevator around here. such a fucking idiot. Do you see what has just happened here? Yeah. Do you, do you see what's happening here? Do you see what we've been doing? We've had the level 2 keycard this whole time since the elevator. And we've been going all the way around. We've been going all the way around the long way. my gears and that is why the binoculars are my friend and maybe I would have been able to piece that one together myself I keep forgetting to use the box here's the thing when I play a, f a brand new game for the first time is uh, the new mechanics and the new things just take a little while to click but then it gets to a point that once I actually get a hold of everything everything then goes smoothly from that point for the most part except for the fact that I'm like oh <laughs> Reminds you of Metal Gears, right? Uh, Dark Souls bonfires, yeah, is a bit of a curse. I'm getting, I'm getting better with that though, especially with these Dark Souls two episodes that are more recent. Um, we're doing pretty good. Um, okay. Um, now, now what? So we're back here. We've got a level 2 card, right? So with that in mind... With a level 2 card in mind, where do we go from here? Because that door with the dogs doesn't open. That door that we tried, so I think we, I think we still need... We still need like a higher level card. Oh, I know where we go. I know where we go. It's the one door that we haven't checked yet. It's this door. Yep, yeah, okay, but that starts a battle because they're both facing each other, so it's almost like impossible. I could have placed a mine. That would have worked, wouldn't it? This way. This is where we need to go. Ah, the elevator is here. Okay. Okay. I were right, there was an elevator. So I can at least save here. We're a bit low on ammo, but we can at least retreat um, to that room. Because that, ro that room is actually pretty close by to get more ammo, now that I am aware of this stupid camera. So now it puts them back up there. Interesting. It's 
just gonna get some ammo. Oh, the enemies don't spawn in that room, that's nice. At least. Same cardboard box move every time. Went on roof, level R to the left. Yeah, I thought I did assume that, that this would be a switch to engage with. Oh shit. Leave me alone, everybody. shoot it? No, I can't shoot when I'm in a lift. When on roof level R. Oh, does this just, or is this just stating R roof? Okay, it's not like a switch or something. I thought it might have been like a switch. And we're on the roof. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is Big Boss. I forgot to tell you. There's a wind barrier on the roof. Look for a bomb blast suit. Over. A wind barrier. Well, okay. Um, go back to the room where I got the suppressor and use the level 1 card. Oh, that does make sense. So I thought that was like a trap room. But you have to use a lower leveled card. I hate that. Game! Why are you gonna do- why are you gonna do me like this? <laughs> this is Solid Snake. I forgot to tell you. I don't care anymore. All right. Well, if we if we if we're going back, I may as well go the full nine yards, right? I'm gonna go and get some uh, rations as well, and then we'll go check that room. Snake, I forgot to tell you. I'm trying to get you killed. I know that Venom is the final boss. I know. Yeah, what I know about Metal Gear is Venom Snake is the boss, final boss, in this one. And then the real big boss is the one in the second one. And then he gets his body reconstructed type deal. Good thing they gave us five. So we're going to need to use it again. This doesn't look like Broom Tower. It essentially is just as frustrating. That's rude. You couldn't give me, like, I don't know, an extra rocket? The only thing that I'm, like, really grateful for in this game is the ability to farm those items by going in and out of a room. I think this would be like close to impossible if you didn't have that. <laughs> Probably would have just given up. <laughs> We're just like, all right guys, let's go and watch the playthrough on YouTube. Now, 
Oh, they do move. What the fuck? Okay. They do move. I didn't think that they moved. They just stand still for a very long time. Cool. How's that? Alright, now I'm saving. We have three rations, we've got basically full ammo. But I- and then I'm- we're going to go back to that room. So we're gonna go back to that room. The suppressor room. The Patriot's AI when Solid Snake sees Venom in Outer Heaven and Big Boss in Foxhound base at the same time. Windows XP error. Okay. Are we ready? Back into this room. Lot, a lot of backtracking. So this this uh, this advice has rung true. You're like, there's going to be a lot of backtracking in this game. I'm like, there sure is, pal. Can we use a level one card. How annoying. Yeah. Wow. Well. Dude. Picked up a grenade launcher. It fires grenades. Crazy. Grenade launcher. You know how to use it, right? Over. Fucking goddamn. He gives bad advice on purpose. Okay, so you can see where you aim. So it's got like long range. That's cool. Good stuff. Except we need to find ammo for it. Who controls the memes control the world. It's true though. I really love uh, Kojima's like inclusion of the word meme, right? In Metal Gear Solid, it's it's just it's just great. It makes everything so fun. My favorite video of all time. My favorite video of all time is uh at the moment is the liquid snake explains big chungus have you guys have you guys seen this have you guys seen liquid snake explains big chungus because it is probably my favorite video of all time right now the voice acting is incredible the editing is top notch like it's so good i'm just hoping that there's people who say they haven't seen it so we have an excuse to watch it right now. Take a break. Flatulent Panda hasn't seen it. Alright, we're going in. We're going in. Um, we're going in. Let me pull this bitch up and we'll watch it. Okay. <laughs> it's it's so good. <laughs> Um, it's, 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 in, it's literally incredible. So, hold on a minute. Are you familiar with Big Chungus? Um, I just need to... Give me a second. I'll be right back. I'll, I'll prep this video and we'll get it up.
All right. Let's uh let's let's do this, right? Chungus. Liquid snake explains big chungus. Okay. Then let me just chuck this here. All right. Are you ready? Are you ready to watch this? Okay. Are you ready to watch Liquid Steak explains Big Chungus? Because I am. All right. Let's let's have a let's have a watch. Are you familiar with Big Chungus? Big Chungus? Yes, Big Chungus, the world-renowned meme of an oversized cartoon rabbit. What does some dumb joke have to do with your plan? Everything, Snake. This isn't about jokes. This is about legacy. Do you even know who Big Chungus is? He's just some cartoon rabbit. Not just some rabbit. The most famous rabbit in cinematic history. The one and only Bugs Bunny. <laughs> Bugs Bunny? The Looney Tunes character? The very same. In 1941, during the peak years of the Looney Tunes franchise, a cartoon was released named Wabbit Twobble, where Bugs Bunny faces off with his longtime rival, Elmer Fudd. But for just a moment, to mock the foolish Elmer, Bugs inflates himself to a comically bloated form, a moment that lasts only 3.4 seconds in an 8 minute and 22 second long cartoon. 3.4 seconds. That's all the time Big Chungus had ever existed. And yet decades later, he would become more famous than Bugs Bunny, despite being Bugs Bunny himself. You see, Snake, memes control history, and I shall use the power of memes to control my own destiny. Do you honestly think Chuck Jones or Mel Blanc could have expected internet trolls to deify a character that doesn't even exist? Make him far more infamous than his own true identity as Bugs Bunny? Big Chungus lives on as the dominant meme. And that, brother, is what I intend to do. I will not let myself be cursed by my recessive memes. Oh my god, it's just like the most perfect thing of all time, right? How fucking perfect is that? <laughs> Kept you waiting, huh? Kept you waiting, huh? Kept you waiting, huh? Kept you waiting, huh? Aren't you always keeping people waiting? That guy always keeps you- Stop! <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Kept you waiting! <laughs> uh, let me get rid of that. Okay. So, what do you think about that, huh? I want to talk- well, let's talk about that. Right. Let's talk about that for a second. Let's talk about that for a second. The fact that it takes that time to like, uh, you could like almost like the PS one is loading where, when it does like the archive footage of like Bugs Bunny and stuff, I just think is so fucking funny. Like there's like the, the loading, the echo with the voice acting as if they're in the metal gear, like the chamber on top of, on top of Rex, like the sound effects are so good when he's like talking about like, the dominant meme and like like this character um that was created after bugs bunny being better than the like more popular than the original one i'm just like it's it almost applies to solid snake and big boss right solid snake is big chungus and big boss is bugs bunny bb big boss bugs bunny it's deeper than you think right it's deeper than you think also it's it's very bright in here so i'm like i'm literally glowing i'm literally glowing but that's one of my favorite videos of all time, especially especially right now. It's incredible. Shall we shall we get back to shall we get to Metal Gear? The codec would be solid. Kept you waiting, huh? <laughs> Big boss. Kept you waiting, huh? <laughs> well, every time they every time we miss a codec call, it's like, kept you waiting, huh? I couldn't read what you guys were saying while I was watching it, so. Alright, cool. Nice. Are we ready to pr to proceed? We're ready to proceed. The metal gear. Just a quick big chungus break. Just a quick big chungus break. We we need we need liquid snake 
to be the one who explains memes to us. But how good was the uh, how good was the um, how good was the impersonation of like of the voices as well of uh, Liquid and Solid? It was great. Shit. Ah, shit. 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 I'm a cardboard box. Leave me alone. Memes, Jack. Maybe I shouldn't have used that ration. Probably shouldn't have used that ration. But that's okay. Now, we're on the roof. And we have to do something on the roof. I need the I need the bomb suit. Right. So is that is that another is that another oh, actually hold on. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Gotcha. Alright, you can't use the binoculars in the elevator room. I see. So we've got three levels. Oh wow. Okay. So we need to get the bomb suit on one of these. I've also listened to David Hayter doing like a Taco Bell order, and then Cam Clark responding to that being at the drive-through. And those videos are hilarious as well. I really I really just love like sort of like the passion for Metal Gear Solid that the original voice actors have. Like they understand how iconic it is. The dog just wakes up when you're in the area. Interesting. Uh, so there's what B one, two, and three. So we want to we want to start here. Ooh, we got new music. <gasps> Ooh! The dogs just continue chasing after you into the next zone. Shit. They don't do much. Uh... They don't do much damage, which is good. Oh. It's a fucking maze, bitch. Okay. Did I watch the hamburger commercial for Miller's voice actor? Uh, I did not. I did not. Knock on walls. Yeah, Metal Gear Solid 1. That had the the walls that we could open. What, does it make a different sound? I want two number nines, number nine large, a number six with extra dip, two number 45s, one with cheese, and a large soda. <laughs> the MGS Ford Focus ad. No, I haven't. Um... Yes, I will be posting this on YouTube. Uh, that's why I have the chat on screen as well. Uh, because for that Metal Gear Solid 5 5K, 5K stream, I had to spend another five hours, because it was a five hour stream, I had to spend another five hours uh, re-recording the chat so then I could edit it on the video. And then I had to also, it's not entirely in sync because sometimes the stream would buffer and I had to try and edit out those gaps. Um, so I then had to, yeah, do that extra five hours. Then I had to edit it and then it took over 24 hours to render that video because it's four hours and 51 minutes. I then also have to, had to cut out some, uh, some little bits towards the end because of what I found out is what the software, the program I use to render <laughs> my videos cannot render anything longer than four hours and 51 minutes. <laughs> and it was a five hour and like five minute stream or something like that so there's like a little bit that i had to um had to cut out to get it four minutes four hours and 50 minutes but if i just record the chat like a smart person i don't have to edit the video and it can be as long as i want okay so yes i do care because i i want you guys to if you're going to re-watch this stream on youtube to at least know what the hell we're talking about in the chat all right 
Okay, this is locked for level one and two. Uh, are these doors, are these walls breakable? Because look at them. They don't make a different, they don't make a different sound, but they look breakable, right? The walls do look breakable. Yeah. <laughs> Dog wakes up. But <laughs> Miss the goddamn train, CJ. Alright, let's try and blow this wall up. Well, that was anticlimactic. Well, now what? Big smoke. It will sound different. What's the spacing, though? Is that a bit... Oh, there's a door here as well. I need to keep an eye out for these doors at the bottom. They don't open, however. Oh, it does a question mark. Nice. It does a question mark. Cool. Nice. The question mark is the one. That's a pretty big gap. And sometimes it can be on the side, so it doesn't have to be... Just punch it like Chris Redfield. Yeah, if this was Chris, he'd just punch the whole fucking wall down, no problem. I might have to go get some more explosives. Because we wasted one, but we'll see. Oh no, we only need to get into the middle, don't we? How did this dog get to me so quickly? What the fuck? Dude! What? How are these dogs getting to me so quickly? Jesus. Ah, oh, here we go. It'll be here. No? Oh. What the fuck? Oh. How are these dogs just appearing, dude? They're killing me. They're killing me, man! We made it. Dog. Dogs in video games, especially older ones, are so difficult because they're all over the place. Yeah, right? Yari. Resident Evil dogs. Holy crap. Especially when I get to the... When I, like... Um, Resident Evil 2 Remake. I, I've just gotten to a point with dogs. God damn it. And I'm on hardcore. And I have no health. And it's just a pain. Um... So, problem is we've got a door here, right? Level 1 card, no. Level 2 card, no. So, am I supposed to be here yet? Or did I just blow up these walls early? Yeah, at least they stay blown up. Because <laughs> then you just get trapped in here. I'm not supposed to be here yet? Okay. Which makes sense. But at least they stay blown up, so now we should just be able to make our way in easily. Dude, these dogs appearing <laughs> make no sense. What the fuck? Get away from me! Just being chased by a random dog. How long are we streaming today? Fucking as long as it takes. I actually don't know. Um, it just I just kind of go with the flow, don't we? Just see how see how we feel. Um, 
when I when I did the 5k stream, I didn't expect to go for five hours, but we did. Uh, I was like, it could be yeah, any amount of time, really. Oh, these dogs are faster than us. They. Uh... Uh, so probably, um, I don't know how long this game is, so I don't know if, um, I'll just finish it on stream or whether we'll, um, I'll come back to it later. Oh, for fuck's sake. Ooh, it's either four enemies in two rooms or... Surveillance Cam City. But yeah, 7k soon. Very exciting. <laughs> I did a 5k stream on Sunday last week, one week ago. A week later, we were pushing over six, and it feels it feels great. And I'm very, very grateful. It's awesome. And I think about doing Metal Gear Rising sometime. I am indeed. It will it will happen. Don't worry about it. It'll be a YouTube playthrough as well. And I can't wait. 10k stream next week. I fought the first boss in Resident Evil 2 on Hardcore. Yes. Yes, I have. I had to think about that for a second. Get excited! Genuinely. Resident Evil 2 Remake on Hardcore is actually so much more fun than I expected, but it's also insanely stressful. Bitch. Is this guy gonna see me? Alright. Fuck. window and I missed it before. Are you kidding me? For God's sake. Both of these doors. Try not to look anything up about the end of the game. So that's, that's a good idea. I will not look anything up for my blind playthrough promise <laughs> because that's the point i will not be looking i don't know anything except that it's raiden and he is the uh he is the rain transformed right lightning transformed what is it i am the he says something about rain and being the lightning like lightning transformed and it's epic okay now we need to figure out this this thing off oh, yeah fuck okay um, we can cardboard box in that area. We can cardboard box. We'll cardboard box it. Yeah, the lightning in the rain. But he says he's like the rain, like something transformed. Yeah, I'm lightning. The rain transformed. It's so good. That's such a cool quote in Metal Gear Solid 4. I am toast. The bread transformed. Yeah, Hillian Tabby. The one and only. Welcome. Welcome. But yeah, I'm not going to look up anything. We'll learn as we go. Uh, so let's just not talk about Metal Gear Rising. Oh, fuck. Let's just not talk about Metal Gear Rising, okay? Thank you for saving me. That member of Foxhound, Grey Fox, he's being held in a secret cell. Okay, he's being held in a secret cell. Uh, the alert music is still playing, so we may as well just fucking run for it. Shit. Oh, I'm gonna die. Okay, we're good. We're back. We're back, baby. <gasps> What's this? Submachine gun? Submachine gun? Look at all the different weapons with no ammo. How exciting. 
I literally just realized as well, I, for I kind of forgot that we had the suppressor. That we've been able to shoot these guys from a distance this whole time. Oh, you're just appearing out of nowhere. Oh no, they're appearing from the bottom of the screen. I'm so bad at old games, man. And we are rationless once again. Oh, I'm out of ammo too. Jesus. Get punched. Nice. Thanks for helping me. The only way to get close to the secret cell... The only way to get close to the secret cell is to get caught. We've rescued five prisoners now. Uh, so shouldn't my class go up? Didn't you say it was five prisoners, guys? We're in trouble, however. Because I got no ammo. <gasps> I've got ammo, never mind. The game provides. I think this is a dead end. This might be a waste of time. Do you think would get along? Who do I? Who would I get along with in real life? Um, probably, um, probably Hal, our boy Otacon. I'd get along with Otacon the best. We'd just watch anime, dude. Otacon and I would just hang out and watch anime. Definitely Otacon. All right, it's time to do this area. Go to the end of that dead end. God damn it. <laughs> Alright. Fucking hell. Metal gear. Oh, and I could get caught. That does make sense. Ooh. We got ammo for this shit now. Oh, when you pick up ammo, that is just generic ammo for everything? So if we just go and get some ammo, it's not just handgun ammo. We, I, I was looking for, like, specific ammo. Wow. That's nice. At least we've got the silencer accessory, so I can just do this, right? Yeah. That's me forgetting that, you know. We have no rations, so I have to be careful, though. That's kind of the problem here. Generic ammo, right? So good. Snake, when was the last time I saved? Only recently. It's okay. Just waiting for Quiet to show up, yeah. Last day in Outer Heaven, Quiet will show up for Venom. Fuck, I've put myself in a really interesting spot with these fucking cameras. There we go. Patience. Don't do that. Don't do that. Okay, thank you.
Oh, sh fuck. Why did I move? Alright. Uh, we might die here. We, we might die here. Hopefully I can just kind of sprint. And we can get caught. Okay, we're okay. Yeah. We got caught. Take him away. All right. A scripted capture sequence. There we go. We have progressed. This is Big Boss. I forgot to tell you. You're gonna get captured. Infiltration accomplished. Find the cell where they're holding a grey fox. Check the walls! Over. So we now have nothing, but we can check the walls. You can just punch the wall. You can just do... Dude, Chris Redfield! <laughs> Bam! We just fucking destroy that wall. There he is. You made it, rookie. I'm Grey Fox. I look amazing. Look at me in all of my pixelated glory. Metal Gear is the ultimate weapon. An all-terrain, nuclear-equipped, walking battle tank. I'm sorry, it's the ultimate weapon. But I'm sorry, but uh, 10 years ago, wasn't there a weapon to surpass Metal Gear? And it was the uh, the English strain, maybe? When it's finished, a nuclear strike can be launched from anywhere on the planet. We must do everything we can to destroy it before it's completed. There's only one way to destroy Metal Gear. With a fucking punch. And the only person that knows how to do it is Chris Redfield. This Metal Gear's de Metal Gear's developer, Dr. Drago Petrovich Madnar. Metal Gear's developer? Excuse me. Yeah, Gray Fox, Frank Yeager, Null. Null as we know him from Portable Ops. Portable Ops is in canon, guys. Um, so guys, Dr. Drago Petrovich Madna. Uh, huh? I'm assuming obviously this is like a bit of a bit of a retcon or something like that. Because um, that's not Emmerich. Petrovic and Emmerich though, similar. He gets mentioned in MGS4. Ooh. I actually think so. The name Madnar. The, Mad the name Madnar is a little bit familiar. And he is being held prisoner somewhere inside this building. Find Dr. Madnar. Damn, dude. I really broke you out of here just so you could tell me to find someone else. Do I punch another wall? Yeah. Grey Fox, I'm busting you out of here. <laughs> Punching walls. I have to. I guess I have to find my nah, my stuff. I am the shot maker. Oh, this is Kojima's. Kojima's interesting naming conventions for characters go all the way back to the original Metal Gear. I am the shot maker. No one has ever escaped from here. Oh shit! What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> What? Okay, hold on. Where, what the fuck? Dude, I'm gonna die. Immediately. Ah, oh, the Madnar's the one with the dialysis machine. So Naomi was, would have been talking about it. I'd got to say, I, I'm actually grateful that I chose to stream this game instead of uh, instead of playing it blind for for YouTube. Because I think it's it's I think it's it, this is more fun for me. This is this is very nice to be able to play with you guys. <laughs> like, it's great, and to actually experience this game.
Alright, the shot maker. Oh shit. Can I punt can I punch him? Can I should I beat him? I guess I've gotta I guess I've gotta actually punch him, hey. And then he'll might he might give me something. Yeah. We gotta get close to him and punch him. This is where Solid Snake learns how to get good with his CQC, right? <laughs> He's like, CQC against the Shot Maker. All right, let's do that same tactic. What the fuck? Bitch. Why can't I get him? Stop. Slow down. Oh, man. I, I'm, I'm punching him. doing damage because he's not reacting in the same way that the other soldiers do when you punch them but I'm definitely punching him I already I'm didn't I I thought I tried the doors already let me try again imagine if we checkpointed back at the elevator that would have that would be awful but yeah I'm pretty sure I tried the doors already that was like the first thing I went for Keep punching. Ah, oh, punching the door. Oh shit. Oh fuck. <laughs> are, you, are you sure? How the hell are we gonna have time to punch that door? It doesn't do the question mark. Do we? Apocalypse. Snake! Snake! So do we punch him or do we punch the door? What's the what's the what's the deal? What's what's the go, huh? Ooh, we have a door. Oh. Dude. <laughs> okay. Well, that's fine then. We'll just blow them up. We don't have... Ooh. Ooh. Transmitter. We have a transmitter. Nothing? They can find you. Yeah. Can we... How do we... How do we... I guess we can't get rid of it. Yeah. Can we, can we get rid of it? <laughs> oh. Did I just... Is it gone now? Did we just get rid of it? I think so. Um, we now have... Our stuff back, but... Problem. We have no rations and we're about to die. <laughs> no rations and we're about to die. Just try and we'll just try and shoot him with the with the grenade launcher and blow him up. See how we go. All right. Our first boss battle. Whoa! That didn't hit him. Fuck. We have a tactic. We have a we have a tactic. And the tactic is uh, shooting hard, baby. Shooting hard, baby. It was a dud, wasn't it? Guys, we need to remember that Solid Snake is a rookie, um, and you guys obviously know that I, I like to be as immersive as possible, so I'm just trying to be realistic, skill-wise, like, come on guys, 
Solid Snake's a rookie, so obviously he's not going to be perfect. That's the only reason why I'm failing. Whoa! The game just gave up. That's nice! Look at that! That's nice! Check that out! They went, okay, get some, get some shit. Get some extra stuff. Maker got shot. Okay, it'll be the door back this way. Let's try these. Alright, this door. Nah, ah, oh, nice. Nice! We got card number three, baby. There it is. So we got this door. And a door to the right. <laughs> ah, that one is completely blocked off. Alright. Rest in peace, Shot Maker. They played Shot Maker like a damn fiddle! He thought that he could win. Little did he know. Yeah, Nicotine Dundee, you know. You know what's up. Oh, now we're here. Hmm. 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 Ah. Nice. All right. That's worth a fucking data save to me. Now. We have gotten Grey Fox. We've gotten a level three. We've got a level three card now. So that just says to me, now we need to do a whole lot of backtracking to check the doors that we haven't opened yet. So it makes me wonder if, um, makes me wonder if we can um, go back to that, that first door, one of the very first doors. But maybe level three might open a door in this area now. Let's check while we're here. Let's go back through this goddamn maze. Don't bother with the beginning, that's level four. Okay. We won't backtrack that far back then. No point in shooting the dogs because they literally will just they just literally respawn every time you see them. It's a shame that the dogs wake up as soon as you enter the the area. So it'd be nice if they chilled the fuck out a bit and maybe got alerted when you got close to them or something. It is a level three door, nice. <gasps> and it's the suit. We made the right choice. We got the bomb blast suit. We made the right choice. Metal Gear and Metal Gear Two on Game Boy. That reminds me, guys. Metal Gear Ghost Babel playthrough? Metal Gear Ghost Babel? Let's fucking go. Did I not say Ghost Babel? Oh no, you're talking to... Yeah. Ghost Babel, bro. Let's go! Dogs, please. Babble, ghost babble. Oh yeah, true. No, I think it's Babel with the way that it's uh, the way that it's written. Ghost Babel. Eight-bit music. Gonna take on the Elite Four. Yeah. 
Um, that was where we went to get captured, right? What was this for? Oops, hold on. Oh, we didn't even do this floor yet. We haven't done this floor yet. Because we went back downstairs, right? So let's see what's here. And then we can take the Bomb Blast suit. Take the Bomb Blast suit up to the roof. Yeah, Mabel, Babel, yeah. Yawn, I'm sleepy. <laughs> Another sleepy soldier. There's gonna be another one of those. Snake, I forgot to tell you. These are actually invisible lasers. Oh my, well, fucking, I wasn't wrong, was I? Snake, I forgot to tell you. These are invisible lasers, or some shit. I don't really know. Yeah, they, they didn't look trustworthy, did they? Oh my god. The movement. These guys have, uh, these guys are stronger. Why won't they die? How many times do I have to shoot them? What the fuck? Why won't these two die? That was weird. Just wasn't like I'm shooting on them. There we go. Jesus. Played like a fiddle. At least it doesn't keep activating the alarm. Imagine if it kept activating the alarm. Probably will when I enter a new area. Nice. Class two! We got a new star. I'm saved. So now we can hold more items? Is that the deal? We can hold more items now? Like more rations? Nice. Thanks for helping me. Dr. Madnar is being held in the cell located in the inner courtyard. I'm the machine gun kid. This is the end of the line for you. Oh my god, another boss. Okay. We got another boss battle. Okay. We have no rations, so this is going to be this is going to be exciting. Eat my fucking rocket, bitch. It's Chico, the machine gun kid. Could you imagine? That's not, that's not a good idea. Yeah, we're not, we're not getting long enough range. I genuinely think that using the rocket is the better thing. I'm gonna run out of rockets in a sec though. Nice. <laughs> A much easier Vulcan Raven fight, though. A much easier Vulcan Raven fight. Vulcan Raven. Vulcan Raven, the second fight, was really hard for me. There's the parachute, then. We got the parachute. I'm the machine gun, <laughs> machine gun Kelly. <laughs> Rip. Alright, that's that'll be like level four or something. Fulton recovery system, yeah, <laughs> essentially. Are these gonna go off again though? Or do they only go off the one time? 
Okay, we're... Oh, fuck. Dude. Alright, never mind. Oh, man. This is a problem. This is a problem. This is a problem. This is a problem. Don't, 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 don't. Okay. We're okay. We're safe. We're safe. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go get rations. I'm gonna go get rations. Um... Cigarettes when you're walking by the lasers. Oh, true. Yeah. That's a great idea. We'll try a level 3 card on this door as well. Because we haven't opened this door before. Oh, it's not a level 3 one either. Oh, hang on, it's level 1. Oh, that's why. Bruh. It's a level 1 door. Oh no! Diane should have a lot of information about the enemy. I just missed what that said. Something about Diane. Oops. Hopefully that wasn't like a codec frequency. This is so risky. Ooh, more ammo, thank you. I can take this guy out with a silencer. Said her frequency, it did, of course it fucking did. Uh, what was the, what was the frequency? What was the frequency, team? We'll try and give her a call. 12033. Okay. Ooh, I almost just ran straight on top of it. Alright, we've only got one rocket. I need to make this, I need to make this count. There's pressure on this one rocket. There's, there's one rocket that stands between me and refreshing my rations. Thank you. Okay. Did not want to fuck that up. Hey, we're good. Woo, baby. By the skin of our teeth. Good by the skin of our teeth. That's good shit. That's a successful backtrack. Now, let's see if we can pick up more rations now. Stream buffering? No! Uh, you guys get it? You guys having issues? Shit. Oh no! Cool. Are we are we back? Are we good? Are we chilling? I hope so. We good? Okay. Cool. Psycho Mantis. Yeah, I've got like, it's guys. I got the Fox Die virus. You know, I got the Patriots AI hacking into the system. Psycho Mantis is like, I'm infiltrating your your modem. Yeah. Ah, oh, dude, that's what I... Yeah. The blackout. Hideo. Yeah. Good. All right. I'm just giving it some time. We didn't want to get too far ahead. We, we didn't... I think you guys called it pretty quickly. You guys called it pretty quickly. I'm literally just here in the room just being like, getting rations. Oh, I've got more health now as well as a class two. So my health is now above. Good stuff. The memes are ruining the stream. Yes, I can hold more. I can hold way more. Is it like double? Can I hold six? <laughs> La -le -lu -le -lo. Yeah, we can hold six. That means we can hold more ammo too. 
Dude, we're getting we're getting overpowered now. Look at us go. Bigger pocket, bigger pockets, poor balancing skills. Oh, I run into him. Oops. April 30th? He remembers the gas mask, dude. He remembers. He fucking remembers, dude. Got it down to a fucking routine at this point. The alarm is still going. I just wanted to get ammo, my guy. I'll do it from this room. Check this out. So it doubles the capacity. So 30 grenades, 100 submachine gun, and 100 for handguns. Good stuff. I need to get some more RC missiles, and that's in the room below. Little John was conceived after a night of King Kong marathon. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> the game's more fun now, at this point, when we've got like more gear and we get to like class two, and when we're like struggling with like the items as much it definitely it definitely gets to a point where it's like much better I died what I fucking died oh no oh no I how did how did I how strong were those enemies I thought we had good health they just absolutely wrecked me Proceeds to die as I fucking talk myself up. This is classic. Because now we have to do the... We have to make the run again. I have to make the run to, for rations again. What a fool. What a fool I am. And again, this is one of those moments where I would go, Alright guys, see you in a million years because I have to replay this whole entire segment. Literal David Hayter scream. Yeah! Snake! Snake! You die when you are killed. That's insane. I don't- I refuse to believe it. going back specifically for the earlier rations now instead of taking the uh the game is more fun now has to replay a segment that was really hard to get through this game is no longer fun now <laughs> no where were the rations are they left or right They're down. They're, they're, they are most certainly down. Ooh. Thanks. That's good. That's good. The tunnel vision on these guards is definitely something else. <laughs> That's for sure. Going back to the beginning to get some goddamn rations. 
Do you, I think this was the easier path to rations. It's a little bit longer. And then we can go back the other way to get the remote control missiles once again. And then we'll stock up on ammo. We'll go back to the elevator. We will save. Breathe a sigh of relief. And then move on with our lives. And I'm going to make sure I actually have the rations equipped. So when I get shot to shit, it's fine. Alright, we're good. I guess because this is an elevator room, we may as well save in here. This is a good opportunity, just in case. It's been a little while. <laughs> hey, Snake, this is Big Boss. I forgot to tell you that you could die for being shot. Oh my god, you're so right. Big Boss really needs to leave me alone, dude. He likes to spam the advice, doesn't he? In every room. I guess it's kind of required, because it's pretty easy that you could, like, play this game, take a break, and then, like, forget. You puffed all your smokables. You're as bad as Solid Snake, Steve. May as well call you Steve Snake. Solid Steve is much better than Steve Snake. <laughs> oh good, I'm just going to be collecting ammunition. Um, Alright, sweet. We're good, we're, we're, we're packing. We got the goods. Helm Daisy Metal Gear fan comics. Um, yes, I'll have to check those out. Rockets. Alright, we got six, but we should be able to hold more now, right? Cool. For a total of ten. We did it. Yeah, the Metal, Gear, the Metal Gear Solid community, especially with the videos that they make and stuff, is always so fun. Especially when it's about Meme Snake. Actually, I need to get more of these as well. Just in case. Get some more plastic explosive. Have you seen Crab Battle yet? No, I have not. I have not, Dex. I do not know what Crab Battle is. God, they come in here. It's okay, because we data saved at the elevator. 
It's okay. We data saved at the elevator. And that, that is fine, because we have rations. Ooh, that hurt a little bit, but that's okay. Uh, let us proceed. We won't let that rock us. I literally was supposed to have the rations on, but I needed to open the door first. So it's kind of like, you know, I'm fucked either way. My souls! Yeah, <laughs> this is the equivalent of dying in fucking Dark Souls. Not too much progress lost though, so it's okay. Any way to turn the gas off in this room, guys? <laughs> God damn it. my plan after Dark Souls 2 for hard. Dark Souls 3. Ah, oh, you had an important call an hour ago and you missed the liquid snake video. No. <laughs> um, no, it's so worth it. Uh, but yeah, watch it with us. It's fun. He already had a dedicated ass room. <laughs> the sauna. Good typo there, guy, guy in box. Good typo, huh? A dedicated ass room. Snake! Come and see my dedicated ass room. It's where I have pictures of Eva's ass. <laughs> no! It's where paramedics doing her hot tub stream. I'm sorry. <laughs> Dude, should we do a we should do a solid snake sauna stream? Solid snake sauna stream. Her major! I'm trying to make it to my dedicated ass room, but I'm dummy thick. Quiet only fans. What the heck did I come back to? Uh, blame Guy in Box. He's the one talking about dedicated ass rooms. It's his fault. It was innocent before that. Just talking about gas rooms. There's nothing problematic about that. Guy in Box had to make it sexual. Keep quiet about the dedicated ass room. <laughs> One floor in Metal Gear Solid 5 was we couldn't construct a dedicated ass room. <coughs> Paramedic and Fox Engine? Stop. That makes me that makes me sad. That makes me sad. <laughs> Such a lust for ass. Who? <laughs> oh man. Metal Metal Gear jokes will just, you know. We'll just never tire of Metal Gear jokes, you know? Um, an ass to surpass Metal Gear. Um, I'm unclear how the stream went in this direction. Again, Guy in Box can explain. Um, but yeah, after, to answer your question, 
uh, for hard, by the way. After Dark Souls 2, uh, is uh, I'll probably react to some Dark Souls 2 lore stuff. We'll check the NPC interactions and storylines and stuff like that. So we'll catch up on lore related stuff to Dark Souls 2. And then uh, we will also then begin Dark Souls 3. But um, there will probably be a little bit of a break because what I've been trying to do is I have a really big backlog of games, a lot of games that I like to play, right? Um, and Metal Gear Solid and Resident Evil were kind of series that I played very, like, dedicated, like, each time I'd finish a game, onto the next one, onto the next one, onto the next one. Um, and I'm only just now taking a Resident Evil break. I'm only just now taking a Metal Gear Solid break. Um, I, you know, I want to play these games as much as you want to watch them. Like, I am so excited to play, uh, Metal Gear Solid one again i'm so excited for metal gear rising i'm so excited to for twin snakes like these games that i really want to play i'm really excited for dark souls 3 and bloodborne and, and sekiro um as well <laughs> like i have them all ready to go uh i'm excited for resident evil 2 remake which i'm currently playing resident evil 3 remake resident evil revelations 1 and 2 like and that that's only those main franchises right um, I took a week break for Mass Effect 2 from between Mass Effect games and everybody's uh, well, not everybody that's an exaggeration some people said that they hate that I take long breaks in between games and I think that a week is pretty pretty short <laughs> to take to take a break um, when I first started uh, and I was playing the original Resident Evil 2 back then, when I had, like, under 100 subscribers last year. Uh, there was, like, a month or a couple of months in between episodes for Resident Evil 2 because I wasn't playing the game super consistently. So, if you, if you survived with me back then through that period, you can survive anything. Um, like, the longest break I took in Metal Gear was between Metal Gear Solid 2 and 3, and I think that was like a month. It was like a month's break. But it's more so, there's there's so many games that I want to play. There's so many games that I love. There's so many games I want to share with you guys and clear out my backlog. Um, so I want to be able to provide that variety as well. And I don't want to get like overloaded on one type of game and like play it um, consistently. It's pro this is probably a bit of a ramble at this point, but like going from Dark Souls 2 being the type of game it is, which is quite punishing and very, very lengthy, going straight into Dark Souls 3 uh, might be a bit much. Um, so we'll see. We will see what happens. At the moment, I'm really enjoying the games that I'm playing. Uh, so we've got Dead Space 2, Dark Souls 2, made a great decision to play two games that can be abbreviated to DS2 together so everybody goes when's ds2 which ds2 um and playing resident evil 2 remake and mass effect 2 so we're playing a lot of twos right now fuck every game i'm playing right now is a two dead space 2 dark souls 2 resident evil 2 and mass effect 2 jesus christ i just realized that <laughs> wow that's funny that's funny. If the Nintendo DS was so good, why didn't they make a DS2? Dude, it's obvious. They skipped right ahead to 3. They did 3DS right away. Come on, man, you know this. They didn't want to have the pressure of a DS2, right? So they just went and fucking skipped, surpassed everyone's expectations. And went straight to 3. I'm used to creators taking a long break. Yeah. And also, like, with the context of, like, guys, you guys had to wait years between releases, all right? <laughs> you had to wait so long. <laughs> I do get the ability to say, kept you waiting, huh? But, yeah. Like, 
whenever I think of games, especially like Mass Effect, Dark Souls, and whatever, and everyone's like, you're taking so long, I'm like, let's take a moment to, to breathe and reflect on our Silent Hill fans, okay? Because... I, I, it took me a while to get to Silent Hill Origins, and then we haven't... I'm, I'm waiting for... I'm waiting for a copy of Silent Hill Homecoming uh, to arrive. Because I had to buy a, a English, UK copy that's uncensored. Because the edition that I have is the Australian version, which is censored. So I'm waiting for Homecoming to actually arrive in the mail so I can play it on Xbox 360. And then Silent Hill Homecoming might come at some point. Uh, at some point, though. Because I did a horror poll on Patreon as well, guys. I, I do Patreon polls. If you're in the Big Boss tier, you can help choose which games come up next for specific genres and stuff like that. So I did a poll last month for horror games. And there was four choices. Alien Isolation, uh, Silent Hill Homecoming, Fatal Frame, and Con Condemned Criminal Origins. Those were the four choices. Um, and then I'll do like polls like, what RPG should I play next, right? Stuff like that. There will be a PS5 port for Bloodborne. Yeah, but that's the thing, right? I can't wait that long. Because something that kind of bugs me a little bit which is a shame about Bloodborne, is Bloodborne is, you know, backwards compatible with PS5, but it's 30 frames. It's not 60 FPS. Uh, which is, which is a huge shame, right? It's a huge shame. And if they announce a PS5 port, I'm gonna have to wait forever for that to event- to eventually come out. I'm gonna have to wait for it to come out. Same with I'm waiting for the director's cut of Death Stranding to come out now. Because I want to get onto Death Stranding. And that's another one. I'm I'm so excited for Death Stranding. I want to play that right now, you know? But um, I have to I even have to be patient with myself. Because otherwise I'll be playing like eight games at once. Everyone will complain. They'll be like, what the fuck is this guy doing? He's overextending himself. Just focus on a few games, you know? So that's kind of what I have to do. That's the, that's, that's the plan. Um, now... We have to get Dr. Madnar. Is Madnar on the lower level? Or is he past the area on the roof? With the bomb suit that we've picked up? But yeah, Bloodborne will be playing the PS4 version on PS5, 30 frames per second, because that's most likely when I get to that game, that's where we'll be at. So I won't really be waiting for a port. Uh, if a port does come out, though, that's 60 frames per second, blah blah, we'll replay it. And I'll replay it on stream, it'll be fun. Um, the FPS is a big problem in Bloodborne. Yeah, that's a shame. I'm genuinely shocked, right? I'm genuinely shocked that they haven't given it like a quality of life update like games being 60 fps on ps5 like ghost of tsushima and stuff seems like a no-brainer seems like a big no-brainer oh we're talking about uh frames per second when we're talking about fps we're talking about frames per second What's the difference between 30 and 60 FPS? Uh, it's just smooth. And I, I do notice it now. I didn't used to notice it as much when I was first trying to adjust to it. Um, that's a good joke, guy in box. Haha, <laughs> 30 FPS is the difference. <laughs> but yeah, um, legit though. 60 FPS is so good. I will always favor... Um, frame rate over resolution now. Ooh, 
Ooh. Are you thinking about trying Metal Gear Acid? One day. <laughs> one day. Yeah, one day. <gasps> Another tumbler room. Yeah, one day. Yeah, dude. Exactly. Biggest example, Destiny 2 going from 30 to 60 was insane. Destiny 2 is so smooth now. It's so fun. I was playing Destiny 2 last night and I was doing the new the new raid. And on 60 FPS, I was very grateful for that. Uh, yeah, 60 to 120 is good. Can we make this? You reckon? You reckon we can make this? Ooh, just. And we're... We're doing okay. Ooh. I don't need mines, dude. I don't really care. I don't need mines. We're good. I'm not going to do that. I love tunnel vision guards, they're so funny. Nice. Thank you for helping me. The only way to get into the inner courtyard... Ah, the inner courtyard. And that's where Dr. Madmar is. So we have to parachute from the roof. There we go. Cool. Makes sense. Ah, oh, he's got tunnel vision. We'll be able to... <laughs> Just do this. back. Ooh, a cell that is guarded by a guard. He does turn his back. Okay. Ooh, he also moves. There's a switch, though. So I'm curious. He just goes straight back, okay. What? Whoa! He saw us when he wasn't even facing us. What does that mean? What? He saw us from behind. He's got eyes in the back of his head, dude. <gasps> what do we got? Infrared goggles. Now we now instead of smoking, we can just see the uh, the lasers, right? Wear these to discover the location of infrared sensors. Is he going to say anything to me? Forgot that I have to press confirm. Nothing? Okay. We got infrared though. Be nice if there was like a sorting option as well for the inventory. He heard me. Ah, oh. well, that hasn't happened before. Maybe other ones have um, enhanced hearing. It's funny you say that for hard because it's it's such a weird mixture of people that I get. So I get people that are just like, hmm, you've obviously played this before. Like it's it's really strange. Like there are people that are just like, you've played this before, and then it's just like. What? <laughs> like, it's like it's 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 funny because I'm like there's there's no way <laughs> there's so many things that it's just like dude I literally embarrass myself playing Dark Souls being so being so blind but I have like this audience of people that are like you are trash and the worst player I've ever seen 
and people that are like, you're doing such a good job for a first time play. It's really, it's really hard. <laughs> like there are people that like trash me to no end, especially on the original Dark Souls playthrough now because it's getting a lot more traction. So a lot of people are seeing it and going, fuck me, you don't even know how to lock on because they're only going off that first episode. Uh, can't believe this guy's using a small shield because he doesn't know how shields work. Why are you buying firebombs? You're a pyromancer. It's like, come on guys, I get it. I'm bad at the game. Be nice. I like to think I've learned a lot since then. I don't know if you said something stupid. I don't think so. That's not what I'm talking about. You're fine. I just think that, um, yeah, there's definitely been... <laughs> there's definitely been some shit that gets said that I'm just like, god damn. But yeah, I definitely haven't played them before, and I think that really does come across in um, how bad I am at the game. Like, I get lucky, for sure. I definitely get lucky. With the amount that I miss bonfires as well, like, holy shit, like... I also think that's another thing that I think about, um, like, oh, we'll let the music play. Something that I do genuinely think about is, um, think about, because people go, oh, you, like, you've played this before. Think about how challenging and difficult it would be for me to not only lie and pretend that I haven't played it before and like keep and but then keep that act up for like a hundred hours in Dark Souls 1, right? <laughs> like to keep that act up that I haven't played it before for hundreds of hours across Dark Souls 1 and Dark Souls 2, right? I am not a good actor. <laughs> I would not be able to do that. And whenever I've like, like looked something up out of desperation, whenever I've kind of done something where I'm like, I'm stuck or I've made a mistake or I have to like look something up, um, I've been honest about it. Like when I accidentally hit the giant blacksmith, right? I hit the giant blacksmith. Um, and I was like, fuck, I feel like I've just killed my... I feel like I've just killed my... I feel like I've just killed my entire run. That's what I was going to say for Dark Souls. I have no words for that death. I need to get those goggles back, don't I? I literally have, like, pretty much forgotten what we just did, where we went. Do that again and not get crushed by a fucking tunnel. Flattened by a roller, yeah, awful. Need to do those. Alright, so the rollers right here. We were so close. This is this one's really that's that's tough. It's the new version of a Rick roll. Sneak roll. least we have like the benefit of like once we've done this once we know how to get through yeah 
like once you figure out the room and the movements, you're like, zoom! But now we have to figure out how this dude works, with, uh, how he apparently hurt us. We'll just try and shoot him. <laughs> this guy. We're just going to try and shoot him. <laughs> there you go. Just shoot him, dude. Alright, we got the goggles. Look how much faster we did that. So much faster. So did we definitely not open this door last time? We are back at the dreaded room, and now I'm wondering if I keep a ration on, if I'll be able to survive it. No. Oh no, because I have to. Eat the fuck. No, you can't. You can't save. It'll take me. It'll take me back to the to the elevator. So I have to have the key card on for the door to open. Can we destroy, can we destroy the, the tunnel? Can we destroy the tunnel? Because otherwise, how the fuck are we supposed to get back? I keep getting crushed. You don't think so? That's, this, this is screwy. Anytime that I think I'm playing the game okay, I get a wake up call from a fucking roly poly piece of metal. Did I use the parachute? Nah, we haven't been to the roof yet. We're getting the night vision goggles on this level and then trying to get out of here. <laughs> Let's try and go around this way. Because this should be. Alright, so these are where these items are located. That's what they should have done with Huey. Yeah, put him in the roller. Maybe that's what the plastic explosives are for. We can put him on the ground. Because it's interesting that you get the plastic explosives, like, in the room in general. Let's try it. Because the plastic explosives are close. an idiot. Alright, hold on. Because you have to place it and then you have to tie... Yeah, I don't think that's going to work. I don't think... Yeah, there's not a world... What I have to do is I have to actually get down to the bottom first and then let's try it. Yeah, I don't think... Yeah, I don't think so. If a rocket's not going to do it. So that means we really have to be so quick here. So when we get back here, we have to... Like, as soon as it goes past, fucking just dash. With the level 3 keycard on. So it's, 
It has to be possible, because we have to get back, don't we? It's just a bit tough. Yari, thank you so much for staying up so late. God damn. I appreciate it. Thanks for thanks for chilling out. This will be this will be going up on the YouTube. So feel free to catch up on anything else that you've missed out on. I tried to start at a good time, like nice and nice and early in the morning for me. <laughs> um, about as early as I can I can really like wake up without being very very miserable. never watched it but never beat mg1 just watched it yeah but yeah thank you so much for tuning in yari yeah it's definitely going up on youtube guys so you won't miss you won't miss anything Like, maybe we should just try and push through to at least complete Metal Gear 1. And then I can look into doing Metal Gear 2 another time. Alright, here we are again, the dreaded room. You need the third key card on. Is it slower when it's when we start? Do we just have to should we just gun for it straight away? Do you think that was fair? I think that was fair. That was something, wasn't it? That really was something. So you can't even, like, bounce into it from the other side. If there's anything, I'm a fucking pro at this part of the game. Except for this stupid roly poly. Oh, this is ridiculous how efficient I am at this section now. Unforgiving, yeah. Unforgiving would be the word. This character is solid or naked snake? This is solid snake. This is the year 1995. So it's solid snake. Solid snake's first mission, right? Is it? Is it his first mission? I think the thing that makes me laugh about this even more is we don't take we don't really need the night vision goggles yet nothing's come up where it's like you need this right <laughs> what we but what we know that we have to do is do the parachute so it's like but i'm just trying to get this out of the way because i want to get back to the elevator which we are so close to so i can get this out of the way
So, you said that you've died here. Dian box. I am I I am doing the right thing. It is just a matter of luck of getting through this, right? I need to quickly fucking sprint to that door. We fucking did it. Guys. You were here. You were here. You witnessed that. The, the world and the universe, right, is hundreds of billions and trillions of years old, and you were alive in the moment that I got past the roly-poly. Take a breath. Get back to the elevator because it's not over yet, Snake. It's not over yet. Not yet, Snake. Ooh, yeah. They got close there. We're back to the elevator, baby. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. We're back in the elevator. Alright, we got the night vision goggles and we can just fucking chill out. Credits roll. End of the game. The night vision goggles was it. The true Metal Gear. The true the weapon to surpass Metal Gear, guys, is that fucking tube. <laughs> the fucking tube is the weapon to surpass Metal Gear. Fuck me. Metal tube! <laughs> Metal tube. We can go to the roof now. Let's fucking go. Huey, Huey made that tube. Alright, bomb blast suit. Oh, but I, I can't use the binoculars now. Because I have to take the suit off. Oh, I can use the binoculars up here. Hold on. Three guards. Two guards. Can I walk on the... I'm wondering if this will break. Oh, no, they're platforms. Okay. That makes sense. Dun, 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 dun. And then Huey, you know, when being interrogated by Miller, Miller would be like, Huey, why did you, why did you do that to the tubes? Why did, why did you, why did you make them roll? Huey's like, me? I didn't make the tubes roll. You have to believe me. Snake, I didn't make the tubes roll. I'm on your side. I'd never do it. I never make the tubes roll. I like my tube stationary. I have a son. Can I use? All right, cool. I guess when you're when there's like a thing on the side, we can still. All right, we got some rockets, boy. my Huey imitation perfect. <laughs> I tried. It was pretty good. Pretty good. That was quick thinking. That was quick thinking with that box. Do 
we still need to use the. I think we still need to use the. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, Huey literally gets played a recording of Strange Love getting trapped by Huey in the AI pod. She put herself in there. It was suicide. You gotta believe me. She fabricated that recording. You gotta believe me, Snake. I made you a battle gear. What the fuck? <laughs> what was that? No. What? That's where we have to go. Yeah, of course it is. Just love running around with a fucking box. <laughs> Christopher Randolph interview, so I have to check him out. Yo. Thanks for saving me. If you have a parachute, you can jump up from the edge of the barrier. So. Is it not windy anymore? Wibbly Wobbly Bridge. Is the Wibbly Wobbly Bridge where we have to go? Well, I mean, yes it is, but I mean, that's where we have to then use the parachute to, like, jump off. Okay. What the fuck? Alright, let's equip the parachute. I don't know if it has to be done at this point. Oh! We don't move with the platforms. Oh, I hate that. Oh, yeah. Ah, oh, another one. Because just one wasn't bad enough. What the f- It's the Fury! Oh my- How do we- But they're in the air. They're in the air. How the fuck do we do that? I'm just going to ignore them. I'm going to choose to... Okay. What is this difficulty spike? They just throw you, like, fucking a jetpack army and an electric floor. Can we, can we shoot them or not? Can we use the rockets? Do they take damage? They're in the air. This doesn't make sense. Boss, it's an enemy gunship! What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? He's shooting me behind the boxes! That's an enemy gunship. Thanks, Otacon. I mean, Ocelot. Genuine, genuine question. Is that actually doing anything? Behind D. Boss. What's a Russian gunship doing here? That's an enemy gunship. Stay down. Or it'll tear you to pieces. What do you reckon? Is this doing anything? I think we're just burning through our rockets. Yeah. What the fuck? What is this area? Who? Such a, such a terrible area. Who designed this? Who designed this? But there's an electric floor. We'll survive on rations alone. Look at that. Who fucking needs to- <gasps> They came into the room. Shit. Keep going, Snake. A mine detector? We came here for a mine detector? What the fuck is this? Okay. Then 
no longer coming after me. Okay, they didn't electrocute the floor. What is this? I need to remember how to shoot because I was just going to shoot like Metal Gear Solid 5. It takes grenade damage, but it doesn't take rocket launcher damage? What? I just wasted all my rockets. Oh my god. Oh shit. As if the rockets don't do anything. Like, the rockets should be stronger. What? So I guess this is how we get through to the courtyard. We're going to take out this gunship, which for some reason decides not to fly in the air, but to stay stationary. Oh, I hope I don't need to use rockets after this. I'm out of rations, dude, so... Gotta make this count. Why do I have the <laughs> night vision goggles on? Uh, I'm almost fine with restarting after this, but we'll see. Kind of don't want to, but feel like I have to. Ah. Oh. Contact Diane on 123.3. Oh yeah, we forgot to do the... We forgot to do that, didn't we? I asked for the thing and then I got distracted. This is Solid Snake. Come in. Hi, this is Diane. The Hind D can be brought down with the grenade launcher. <gasps> Bye. Good information. Right on time. Well, we're out of rations, boys. Parachute time. <laughs> oh my god. Incredible. Dogs! Why? 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 Mines at the bottom. Nice. Uh, I have no rations though. And none of these fucking cards work. There's trucks. Let's just pray to God. Oh! We're now here. We're here now. We've come full circle, right? Trucks protect mines. All right, well, we've got the mine detector on. Nice. Rations, please? Nope. Ah, the truck's been... Oh, fuck. Oh. oh no. I have to do all of that again now, don't I? Because the truck's been moved. The trade-off is rations. But we have to do that again, don't we? All because we went into a truck without warning. I killed the hind D, that is correct. I can just go back up to the roof now. But that's dumb. <laughs> that's so dumb. We survived. We got our rations back. Yeah, box snapped. We, we, it's like the start of Pokemon 
Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire. And we got into the moving truck. Yeah, that sucks. Imagine this. Imagine getting into a truck and it takes you back to the beginning of the game. Imagine that. When would that ever happen? Shift change. The only room to do a shift change. Why am I spawning infinite rations? Because why would I not do that? <laughs> why would I not do that? This stream would not exist if uh, spawning items was not a thing. 100%. We would just be watching the play a playthrough on YouTube and reacting to it. So I'd much prefer to actually play the game. Am I getting am I getting lost? I am a bit, aren't I? I know where I am. Graphics are insane. They are insane. Oh, I spawned at such a dumb point. Oh, we made it through with minimal damage there. I'll take it. Okay. We are back once again. Let's data save at this point. Let us data save at this point, please. So we have what we need. Just in case we die. <laughs> so now we've got the... We've got the mine detector forever. So let's check that second. I guess we got to be able to check that second truck, right? Is this the true OG Metal Gear? Yes, uh, it's the MSX version. Uh, played on MGS3 subsistence in the HD collection. No. I refuse to acknowledge that you exist as enemies. Get these dogs out of here. Now. There's a truck here, protected by mines. Can we, can we get to this, can we get to this truck? Or is it just a trap truck that we don't check out and we should just go left? sure. It's cold in here. I need to turn my heater on so you might hear it, okay? Literally cannot feel my toes. I cannot feel my toes. I need to warm them up. My one, my one guy, Steve, has decided to take a break the moment that I need him the most. He is my big boss on the codec. Confirmed! We can get in this truck. Yes. 
Oh, and we needed that for card four. Yeah, baby. And uh, and now, in more in more fuckery, we've got more doors that need to be opened with card number four now that we haven't been able to open before. I don't know where those doors are specifically, but you know. Probably see if there's mines here. No, nope, there isn't. Okay, card number four. Finally unlocks that door. Finally. And then... Prisoner. Nice. Nice. Thank you for helping me. Dr. Madnar was just transferred to Building 2, for fuck's sake. Building 2 is located 10 kilometers north of here. God damn it, Dr. Madnar. That's silly. Oh, we've got number four now. Card. We can now move on to different places. Oh, that's here. That's this spot. So, ten kilometers north. We just need to now just go this way. Oh, yeah, we went here last time, didn't we? And both of these doors were locked. So they both needed level four cards. Okay, so we have to go through this door. I get it now. I get it, dude. Just a casual 10k. What's well, just a casual 10k? Sad. Oh no, mines. Duh. Oh no, the truck's been moved again. What? Where are we now? Oh, we've just been moved back. Okay. So there are now just random trucks that are just going to troll us and take us back. Who thought that was a good idea? What the fuck? What about this truck? Thank you. Don't even need them. Well, that's fucked. Every screen is just... Oh, no. Okay. Oh, hang on. It's just refreshing the same thing. What? Okay, left and left and right doesn't exist. It just keeps refreshing the page. But we just have to keep going north. Kojima! Oh, this is a good, this is a good checkpoint. That's a good checkpoint. It's a good checkpoint because they went, haha, we're gonna fuck you up in a minute with a stupid missile that comes out of nowhere. Should have seen that coming. Thank you, Metal Gear 1. Watch us get in this truck and it goes, haha, we're going to take you back to the beginning of the level. Oh, it's rations as well. Well then. Tickle me fucking surprised. Okay, so. 
Let's avoid the missiles. Are there mines here as well? There are not. <laughs> the missiles know exactly where we are, see? Oh, or do they? Was that just terrible timing? Look at that. That was just terrible timing on our part. We literally left as the missile was coming. Oh, God. It's like we have to just fucking... Oh, my God. Diane, how do I destroy it? How do I destroy the, the tank? Grenades or rockets? Hi, this is Diane. Mines can destroy the tank. Bye. Wow. Because we don't have rockets anyway. Dude. Oh, you're joking. Yes. Nice. It does go up ahead. Oh, and it shoots out rockets. Oh my god, that rocket. Painful. Alright, just hang out on the left-hand side. Don't run in front of it. We're now out of mines, though. We don't, we're, we're now out of mines. So... Um, grenades don't do damage. to go back and find mines and then come back one of the tanks I extracted in the phantom pain uh, so that means well I mean we've, we can hold more mines now we just actually need them so where the fuck where did we first get mines Mines are close. Can you dig up those mines? No. In um, in Metal Gear Solid 1, though, when there's Claymore mines on the ground, if you go prone and you crawl over them, you pick them up. But we, I just found, I just found out where we can get mines, so we're good. Except for the fact that this fucking guy won't die, dude. The way that he just keeps like walking on top of me, so I can't even shoot him, is insane. can't carry anymore, so we can only carry 10. So we now have 10. Um, I wonder if the tank's health refreshes now that we've left the area. Or whether we just, you know... Because that means it takes at least 10. At max... Well, no, max 10. Otherwise it wouldn't make sense. But it's okay. We're good. We're good. We ran back and got mines, and we got rations right beforehand. Imagine if it blew up the fucking truck. I'd be so mad.
Okay, so... Back to the fight. Now, let's see how many mines it takes. This is going to be like the worst tank driver in history. He's literally just going back and forth. He's like, oh, we keep, we keep ending up, <laughs> we keep ending up driving over mines. Maybe we should stay still and then just block the pathway so we can never proceed. That seems like the smart idea to do. to take 10 mines then it has to come on dude why is it no longer going why is it why go all the way down what are you doing thank you jesus I know that we can plant more than one, but I'm just trying to play it safe. We use 10 mines, which is the maximum. What it means is... What it means, potentially, is we have to use 10. Maybe we have to go back and get more mines and go again, but I am under the impression... Um, I'm under the impression that when we leave the, the screen, uh, it refreshes, so its health would come back, right? Nah, grenades won't grenades won't work. Because it doesn't do it doesn't do the damage thing. Um It takes eleven. What? It takes eleven mines. I have to be class three? So that means that somewhere in this, somewhere in this base, somewhere in this establishment, somewhere in this establishment is doors that are locked with that level four card. Doors that are locked with that level four card that must have prisoners behind them. One more prisoner? Fuck. I actually have a bit of an idea. There might be one in a particular spot. I'm hoping. Yeah, the door with the dogs? Yeah, I swear it was- yeah, the door with the dogs, yeah. When I dropped in the courtyard, that was literally the one I was going to check. Because we now have the level 4 card. Yeah. We're all in sync. We're all in sync. Now to open. Yeah. Ah, oh, Dr. Madna, was I too late? No. Wrong. Because this is the door we go to, and then we talk to the other prisoner, and he goes, they've moved him 10 kilometers north. So we still have to, we still have to find one more then.
Yeah, I know the the dogs. Uh, we've no, we've we've already got that prisoner, Steve. We've already got him. He's the one that told us that uh, Madnar got moved ten kilometers north. So we have freed him already. So I don't know who else. Like, there's obviously doors somewhere that could be opened with the level four card now. Here's another thing that could that would have been nice is if we unlock a door with a key card, um, it should just be permanently open, so then we know which doors that we've <laughs> we've opened previously. That would be nice, I think. Because what this means is we're kind of at a point now... Fuck. What this means is we're kind of at a point now where I just need to... Um, run around kind of aimlessly almost. God, there's so many people. I need to run around like aimlessly until I find locked doors. Uh, this is where we get captured. be a prisoner somewhere. The problem is where? Basically just run around with a level 4 card <laughs> and try it on every door that we haven't yet tried and see if it opens because every other door I think we probably should have opened by now realistically. Feels like it, it feels like we shouldn't be limited, right? It kind of feels like we're supposed to be. It almost feels like we're supposed to be class three by now. So it, it, it must just be. It must be one of these floors that we've been to before that was locked with like a level four that would have a prisoner. It's not this area. It's not here shouldn't be. So we unlocked that with level 3. The roof? With, I don't... Nah, we got a prisoner on the roof already. There was nothing locked uh, on the roof. As I remember. I can't find one behind a level 4 door, so that means that we've just missed one. No, it is the... No, it is. Hang on. Hang on. It must be, because we died, right? We died. And then we didn't rescue him a second time. We died. Ah. Uh, no, but we checkpointed when we were outside. Ah. Uh. Well, let's go. Ch let's go check. But I'm actually pretty certain that we picked him up in the game, checkpointed us. But who knows? Maybe not. I don't know what type of type of game this is. Let's have a let's have another look. So, in here, right, and in this room, is the prisoner. Is he going to be in here? No. Because, yeah, because we, we rescued him, and we didn't, we didn't get taken up to class 3 when we rescued him. So, I don't know what to do. It just means we must have missed one. 
let's let me have a look. Um, I'll I will check now. I know on each floor. Yeah, but that's that'll take that'll take so long. Um, It's alright, it's okay, we'll find it. Alright, so you're looking at a map. Um, yeah, every door is pretty fucked. So how many prisoners are there in total? Are there 11 in total? And then Dr. Madna? Ah, I see the map. So there's Shoot Gunner. Alright, well I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at this map. I'm gonna look at the maps for every area and I'm gonna see if I recognize doors that I haven't yet opened. So there's no prisoners behind... There's a key card for level six, so there's no prisoners behind level four. The game really is just one maze, that is, that is for sure. No, I've definitely, I definitely haven't shot a prisoner. I've freed everyone. Everyone that I've seen so far. I'm seeing a person located behind a door I can't yet open. Ah, oh, there's a level four. What is that? Ooh. Well, hang on. Uh, somewhere that we can. I don't think you can I don't think you can shoot or damage um, prisoners like I've punched next to them and it hasn't done anything we like we definitely freed them I haven't killed a prisoner Most things have been going smoothly until this point. There's a room locked with a level 4 key in like the maze room. He accidentally shot a prisoner during a fight. The game can't be finished at that point. Um, I, I definitely haven't shot a prisoner. I think you guys would have noticed if something like that happened. I would have pointed that out. I definitely haven't. being like weird about everything. <sighs> 
there's a level 4 door here, apparently. But it doesn't have a prisoner behind it, so... Unfortunately. It has body armor, though. Halves the damage caused by enemy weapons. So that's one thing. This walkthrough is all out of order. It's so weird. Because the walkthrough is like... How it's structured makes no sense. How are you guys going in terms of your investigation? Hmm. We might we might have it. I think it's outside. In an earlier in an earlier area, we might have it because there's two prisoners that are that are very close together. Like they're literally like one section apart, and I can't seem to recall if I re if I rescued prisoners that close together before. So we're going to try that. And then I also need to... <clears throat> I need to get some ammo because we only have a grenade launcher. So we get, we get pretty desperate. Now... Uh, this is... No, it's okay. This is uh, the original MSX version, but it is through... Shit. Uh, it's through Metal Gear Solid 3's assistance in the HD collection. But it is the, the MSX version. I can't get this dude properly. <laughs> I'm, just real, I'm just trying to line up the fucking... I'm just trying to punch him in the face. Okay, so there's, in this section here, right, there's this door, which is blocked by a level 2 door, which I'm pretty sure we have done, and then the other one is a level 1 door, and maybe that's what we haven't done. That's what I'm checking, so let's have a look. Level 2. Alright, we've done level 2. Now, in this area, this is a level 1 door on the left here, and I don't know if we've opened this door with a level 1 key. We might have just been like, ah, the door doesn't open. I'm, I'm literally unsure, so this is, this is where we're at in terms of checking stuff out. Ugh. Oh, why did I move? That's fine, it's just... No! Okay. Alright, we got... We did get this one as well. Okay, so we got these two. <laughs> um, so we've done those. This is terrible. Floor two. Hmm. There's another three on floor number two, so that's that's possible. Uh 
There's only one prisoner on the roof, and we've definitely already got that one. Okay, so it's either on floor number two, or floor number three. Such a such a funny part of the game, huh? You miss one prisoner, you're almost screwed. So building one. If I check out this area. In the laser room, there's a prisoner. I don't know if we rescued him in the laser room. Just have to see how we go. We got Mr. Sleepy Man over here. This room might be the one. It might be. But also, I think we've probably gone through here. Let's see. Fuck. Okay, we've got him. <laughs> uh, there's one in... There's one in here, but I, I, I know that we've got this one. We've definitely got this one. Yep, so we got this guy. Machine gun kid was chilling out. We can use a level four key, which is a shortcut now, to go through this door. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. And this dude now sees us right away. And there's a level three door here where we have definitely gotten this guy. I'm wondering if there's a prisoner that we rescued previously that I'm like, we definitely got this guy. Um, and then, because maybe we died one time, we then just never went back for him again. Like, that's also a possibility. Okay. On floor number three... There's multiple... There's multiple... Oh no, look at where it put us. Um, yeah, I know you're saying like binos, but trust me. When I say I've got the map now, so I know exactly where they are, so it's fine. Soldiers are going to come this way. Just going to get our ammo back. So, on this, around this level, but not exactly on this level, there are going to be four prisoners. Are you eating all of my bullets, sir? Have I punched any secret wall doors? Uh, I have when we needed to, um, but everywhere else I think is accessible via doors. This is the lovely, like, technical difficulties part of the run, isn't it? <laughs> It's just like, ah, nothing is going right. Now, I think... Which floor 
is this? Okay, here. From here, right? There is... This door, which we have, we have checked this door. So I'm pretty sure we've got this prisoner as well. But we're going to run through this floor. And then after that, I don't know. Kind of, I'm kind of stumped. There he is. There he is. So we have got this guy before, but this is what I was saying, is I feel like we died and then we didn't go back and get him. We're now class three. Yeah, because this was Diane. This was the one who provided the fucking number. Dude. Alright, we're now class three. It's because we missed a guy when we died. We can now get more mines. <laughs> we can now get more mines. We're done. We did it. Thank you for bearing with me. Thank you for bearing with me on that. It's an unfortunate part of the game. Now, I need to... I've got ten mines, but I would like some more rockets as well. Um, let me go back to... Way to go back. That's the thing. Now I'm at a point where I'm like, Fuck, what do we, how do we get back? <laughs> um, should I just drop down from the roof again? This way. This is where I need to go. Uh, I'm gonna get my rations back. Oh. I'm gonna get my rations back. So just take me back to this truck, please. Gotta get rations. I'm about to get to building number two. The walk. What does the the walkthrough say? The walkthrough says. Um, there's three buildings. So there's three buildings. So there's probably a decent chunk of this game left, what do you wouldn't you say? So there's a decent amount of this game left. No worries, Tristan. Thanks so much for thanks so much for tuning in. It's it's a goddamn journey this game, huh? <laughs> so if we're about to get to building two. We're so, is that like the midway point of the game? If there's three buildings? Or is building three just going to be like shorter? Building three is like the boss room. I don't know. We can now get more rations though, so I'm, I'm happy about that. means we can get even more uh, even more ammo if we wanted. Okay, so nine is the max. There we go. When it was mentioned that there was back and forth at the beginning of this playthrough when we started. You weren't joking. It wasn't a joke. The backtracking in this game is unreal. Wait a minute. This way. Alright, we're finally back outside. Are 
ready to now get blown up. Alright, let's go do this fight. Oh, hang on. Fuck, we need 11 mines. Wait a minute. Wait a minute! I need more mines. I'm gonna get killed. Uh, we have to go back to those initial trucks again for the mines, don't we? Was it these mark? These, these it wasn't these ones, was it? Because this has this is a person in it, three people in it. This is the one. Yeah, there we go. Woo boy. Is this the maximum we can hold? Yes. Fifteen is the max. Wonderful. Alright, we now have the mines. I almost went back into that fight again, just to backtrack again. So, I'm glad that I remembered. A little bit too late, but that's fine. It begins once again. Put the body armor suit on. Alright, let's do this fight. <laughs> for reckless mine placement. Bitch. <laughs> I had to make up for that lost time somehow, didn't I? We, pr we proceed. Okay. Oh, we just keep going straight. Alright, keep going straight. Feel free to celebrate my victory, if you want. It seems that Foxhound is trying to infiltrate the base. Whatever you do, do not let them through. This is Big Boss. I forgot to warn you. <laughs> They're gonna try and kill you. Ah, inspections. Wear the enemy uniform and infiltrate. Let's use frequency 120.13 for all communications uh, from now on. Ah. Oh. He's, uh... Hmm. He's switching up the frequency. 120.13. Schneider's 120.79. He isn't, though. Ah, oh, no it is, yep. Yeah. Ah. Oh. Thank you, Luckberry. Good timing. The enemy uniform is in the basement of Building 1. So they're gonna make they're gonna make you go all the way back to Building 1 after you take take the journey to Building 2 to go to the basement. Let's use frequency 1226 from there. 12026. So now we go to 12026. Who doesn't want to talk to me anymore? One, two, three. Thank you so much, uh, Motto, for for tuning in. I appreciate it. Okay, so they say let's communicate on those frequencies from now on, and then proceed to not do that. So now we have to go to the basement to get the to get the uniform. There's just, there's just no end to it, is there? Extra gameplay, yeah, fuck. <laughs> Extra gameplay. Okay. 
They're like, fuck, we need to make this game longer than it already is. How do we do it, boss? Um, I need to actually do it this way. This lift. Down to the basement. Um, but this is where the, this is with all the dogs, right? So where did we where did we not explore in the in the basement? Where did we not explore for the enemy? Um, oh, I see. I see. This points out another thing then. In terms of secret walls. Can we just punch it instead of blowing it up? No. There it is, bitch. Nice. Picked up the enemy uniform. Nice. Uh, does that mean... Will dogs leave me alone? <laughs> the dream? <gasps> the dogs leave me alone. They wake up, but they leave me alone. Incredible. We did it. Data save. Okay, that wasn't as much of a painful, um, a painful backtrack as I thought. So that's actually okay. And now we go back again, again, again. Will these guys shoot me now? There's only one way to find out. Oh, well then that's fucked. What's the point? What's the point? What's the point of the enemy uniform? <laughs> they still attacked me. Okay, so I guess only in building two. So you get an enemy uniform that's in building one, but it will work in building two. And building one guards will say, fuck you, what do you think you're doing? That is true, it might only work in like the Shell 1 core, so it's like M MGS2 type shit, yeah. Metal Gear Solid 2, when you had to wear the disguise, and I did a terrible job of doing so. We're back, baby. Enemy uniform and everything. Let me in, please. Go on in. Wow. Yeah. Amazing. Oh, you can swim. We got swimming in this game. Just don't mind me, just your superior officer here. Swimming. What the fuck? Alright, goodbye. Goodbye. Wait, hold on. can I? Nope, they just recognize me straight away. Okay. So, we've got a <laughs> fucking steamroller. Um, oh, they can shoot me in the water. Never mind. Uh, so we've got a bit with a goddamn steamroller coming at me. Or we can do this. The enemy uniform is now useless. It was only for that first section. And we got ammo, that's good. We will have to, ch we'll obviously have to check in with uh, Diane uh, about the whole situation with how to defeat this guy. Probably, probably mines, considering the amount of them that we we're able to pick up. Just gonna pick up 
some more ammo, please. Thank you. <laughs> Keep initiating battle. I hate how the enemies move. They're so hard to hit. Alright, to get to... To get to that door, I guess I gotta go through this one first. What's that thing again? Shit. Uh, what's... What's Diane's thing? It was 123.3, wasn't it? Yeah? She's not answering. Assume, I'm going to assume mines, based off Oh well, never mind. I'm going to assume mines based on the fact that we can pick up the mines. Metal Gear 1 in VR. Boy! The dream. They see me right away as soon as I walk out, like no matter what. I guess I can walk out in a cardboard box. Yeah, like V Metal Gear VR would there's like that would somewhat work, maybe. Funny thing would be like VR missions type deal would be would be really interesting. Like I can I can see it, but it's not really what it work. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like, enter the screen with the cardboard box. Yeah. Okay. That's what I was thinking. Hey, grenades. Ah, oh, grenades. Okay, so not mines. It's really interesting then, then it's like, it's like, here's all your mines, sir. And then, uh, you do the fight with grenades. But yeah, the, the call, the codec call, with our lovely friend. Where do we skateboarding? What? Shoot to move back, repeat. Eight grenades. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, well, we can do it with the grenade launcher. Just gotta focus up. We got this. So, Metal Gear Skateboarding is only on the PS2 version. I gotta buy it. I don't have the PS2 version of MGS2. I've got the PS2 version of MGS3 now. Picked that up for my collection when I was like collecting a couple of games, which was cool. had too much content. I still need to do Snake Tales um, on MGS2. We haven't done that yet. Maybe that's another thing we can do on stream sometime. So if we get hit by this thing once, we're basically dead, so...
Shit, man, dude. Okay. Those first two, those first two grenades, we actually need to make sure they hit. This is such a time-sensitive boss. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something because we already have enough grenades. So we'll just do this straight off the bat instead of grinding for that ammo every time and failing. That's really, that's really tense, that one. You need to, like, handle that one perfectly, almost. Oh no, it's the big scoop! Big scoop! How could you? A weapon to surpass Metal Gear. Big scoop! to surpass Metal Gear, which surpasses Roly Poly, which surpasses Roly Scoopy. Big Poopy. Scoopity Boopy. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. There's just too many weapons. Okay, back to being cardboard box. I need some rockets, man. Oh, shit. Let's try again at being a cardboard box. Will this be cut down for YouTube? No way. <laughs> Enjoy it in all its full uncut glory. This is the this is the director's cut of my own stream. Uh, it'll get uploaded in full, uh, just like the um, like basically the the five K stream did. Because I don't have to edit this to edit the chat on the stream now, so I can just upload it as it is. So I don't have to worry about it being over 4 hours and 51 minutes, so it's okay now. It's okay. We can do the full... the full stream, baby. Oh god. There's an elevator, though. Gonna be our save our game. Data save. Nice. All right. Um, I need an honest. I need an honest answer, Steve. How much? How much more of the game is left? Because we're in building number two, and I saw that there's three buildings. How how much is left, man? Tell me. Tell me how much more is left. Because I don't think we're close. Are we close? I don't think so. I don't think we're close to destroying Metal Gear. Because goddamn. Because it has almost been five hours. Building 3 isn't as long, MGS1 after the second con, maybe another 2-3 hours. Yeah. I might have to resume this one um, on another stream then. Um, yeah, Twitch Zuma. It does sound familiar because it was mentioned in MGS5. And yeah, I've had like a lot of comments that have pointed out um, that it's in relation to this mission, which is awesome. I think it's so cool. Uh, I think after 5 hours... 
<sighs> being up since uh, 6.45, it's now almost 11.45, that it's about time for me to stretch my legs and eat some breakfast and look back on our first stream with Metal Gear 1 and go, man, I'm glad that we've actually able to be actually play the game and we haven't died and original difficulty is fine. So uh, we will, we will wind down the stream now. Um, but because we didn't finish Metal Gear 1 in one stream, I will be aiming to stream um, this as soon as possible, maybe sometime during the week even. Uh, I can try and wake up early and stream a little before my day job. We will see. We will see how we go. Um, I'd love. I'd love to to do that. I I don't really want to keep it until next week. Um, I don't know how how uh, late night streams for me would go if I streamed like later in the night. I don't know if you're all asleep or busy then. That's why I kind of tried to choose maybe six forty five in the morning for me because that's when more of you guys are awake but um we'll we'll figure it out we'll we'll see how we go but guys thank you so much for tuning in to to another to another stream i really do want to be streaming uh much more regularly um and have a good time have a good time doing that as well i just got to find the time uh i'm going to have a lot more time coming up uh soon anyway um to be able to do more streams and that's going to be fun but thank you so much guys for for tuning in and those of you who have been here throughout the whole thing and those of you who have tuned in along the way, I won't keep you waiting. I won't keep you waiting. This is a very interesting, um, very ominous. My Elgato just decided to to crash right at the end of the stream. <laughs> right at the end of the stream. Um, but yeah, thank you so much, guys. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, we will we will wrap this one up now, and I will upload this stream to YouTube so you can watch the full thing in all your glory. Uh, really, really appreciate it, guys. So thank you so much. Thanks for watching. Uh, I will see you again soon.